hi everybody. Hello, it's Austin. And also it's Sylvie. There we go. We did it this time. We did yeah. it for real this time. I remembered. And we're not, it's not only us. It's not only two of the seabirds. There's a new bird in the flock. <laughs> Bird expert Jack DeKeet. I don't know shit about birds, actually. I know about birds as an amateur. You I'm know an about amateur the birds bird. of the sea. Uh-huh. Like enjoy in, in, the, in the way that they're under the water. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Those now, if I was brought on. Yeah. If I was brought on to talk about fish, experts. No, that would be an expert. Yeah, you're. And you can check from. Do you know that Ali and I actually got a Peabody? Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Very proud for of you both. For our work on yeah, Fish on 15 minutes. minutes, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of a highlight. About fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud. We put it up on the website. You know, everybody can go That's check. Prestigious thing. Prestigious thing. Dot cash. You see a big picture of Allie and Jack holding the Peabody Award. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. It's like a <laughs> statue almost. Like it's a big one. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And what, yeah, what, we had uh, to what's the statue? Training to hold it. What's the what's the statue of again, Jack? I always forget. Oh, uh, it's a statue of a man holding another man holding another man to celebrate (laughs) how uh, Peabody, you know, reaching back through history to support and laud those people before. Before, Of course, it's sort of a bit of a visual pun because now we're holding it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, So, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I actually saw a statue like that in Buffalo recently. I saw a statue like like that that. in Buffalo. Oh, New Orleans, then. Austin, and we saw the statue made by the same sculptor. We wait, what? We independently saw. Yes. What? If this is the statue that I'm thinking of, you shared it in one of Where our. Where did I share maybe, it? One of our. Maybe a Realis chat. Probably or something. Realis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I've seen that statue, but not in Buffalo. I've seen it in New well, Orleans. What's really funny is now you now you you can know who I thought it looked like, which is that guy in the new uh, Hunter Hunter intro uh, that I won't name, but there's a character in the new Hunter Hunter intro who I immediately oh. was like, when I saw this statue, I was like, oh, that's guy from the new, from guy that Jack doesn't know the name of yet. Uh, yeah. I'm going to resend it in live chat so Sylvie can oh, see what I'm you. talking I'm about. Try, I'm trying to find it. I got it. I've sent it. I've sent it for you. And as wow. soon as I saw, like, obviously it's not. It's a bunch of guys <laughs> on top of one another holding their their faces, but, but the like the knees of the this is this was from the Buffalo yeah. whatever the Buffalo Art Museum. I, we're gonna this rule. You just listen to Media Club Plus. Yes, we just show. recorded uh, the first the first Chimera Ant arc yeah. episode. Uh-huh. I guessed it on that. That was a blast. We're three episodes into the Chimera Ant arc, <laughs> and I would say that there are already more Chimera Ants than there should be. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe mm-hmm. exactly the right amount. Mm-hmm. And they're exactly right. what you expected. <laughs> My prediction for the Chimera Ants was spot on. No, alas. Speaking of a world of of dangerous monsters uh, who one has to figure out what their deal is, y'all want to play some Etrian Odyssey 3? I would love to play some Etrian Odyssey 3. Well, here it is. Etrian Odyssey 3 HD. Jack, my understanding is that you watched the first video of me and Sylvie getting our feet wet here in the seaside town of place that I forget the name of. Armor, oh. Armor Road? No, Armor Road. Road. Armor Road. Armor Road. Armor Road. It's Armor Road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, That's a good name. Which also means you saw us get our ass kicked by... Uh, well, I heard you it? get your ass kicked while I was uh, uh, doing, sure. doing yes. laundry. Yes, okay. Um, but it was some sort of, like, it was like a, a squid thing or some sort of, you know, unpleasant... <laughs> it was a squid beast. thing. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, is the game audio coming through, folks? Uh, we've got it. You've got uh, it. And it I looks like it's coming it. through here. Amazing. Yes. Uh, the, yeah. I have <laughs> never played an Etrian Odyssey game before. Sure. Um, this is my this is my first sort of real encounter with it. But I, I mostly know it for like its its elaborate mapping, mm-hmm. and then also uh, hearing you and Sylvie talk about the way the party composition mm-hmm. works. It's mm-hmm. like it is so clear that something in this game like ingrained itself in your brains in such a oh, way yeah. that you were able to be like all right here is how it will you know here's yeah. how oh, we're yeah. gonna make this thing work i've been playing these since i was like 13. yeah 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 um so i wouldn't say i'm an etrian odyssey fan but i tell you what i am a fan of and that's mega dungeons and here oh, we yeah. are this is yeah. one um, oh, and you're an etrian odyssey fan jack congratulations yeah, yeah exactly jack sorry i'm gonna turn my i'm gonna turn you down just a little you want know to turn me down in my own ears I'm going to turn down my computer volume and hope that that makes it. That should be fine. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna get my chat back up and come over here and do, sorry, every time I alt tab out, we lose audio it's in the so game. Funny. It's so funny. I'm sorry to the chat because I love this it's music so much, but yeah. Um, it's just hammering, it's fine. It's exactly, wait, Sylvie, Sylvie got quieter. Oh, did I, lower, oh I moved I lowered, away from my no, microphone. No, 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 what happened is I lowered you instead of Jack by mistake. Oh, wow, like silencing right. women. Oh, that's, that's me, he always. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm out to do. Uh-huh, famously. Uh, famously. All right, um, so let's go over our characters really quick. I know, Jack, you've met these people already, but it's probably worth reintroducing ourselves. I'm sure of course, people are jumping in for the first time Exactly, here. that's true, and it's still a good time to do that because we've done very little except dip our toes in the dungeon and then flee Get after getting wrecked. Get by a squid. Yeah. I do feel like this is the type of game that you can like jump into a stream 100%. when we're live, even if you're not caught up on the VODs, yes. just because it's like... Not run-based in the same way a roguelike is, but kind of. It has a similar like vibe, yeah. A, a, a rhythm to it that's similar. Yes. Anyway, interrupted here, the character rundown. Here is our set of characters. So, Etrian Odyssey is a dungeon crawler, uh, what, what is sometimes very fondly called a blobber. Jack, I heard you use this word what? the other day when you were streaming <laughs> yes. uh, Crypt Master with KB. Um, which, that's which a blobber. Is, which, that's another name for this style of dungeon oh, crawler. It's so funny because yeah. as, soon as, as soon as I explain why it's called a blob of silver, you're going to go like, oh, yeah, makes sense. It's because you're, yeah, you're, you're a big blob of, of uh, heroes that just goes like rolling around the inside <laughs> of a dungeon. Yeah, that makes sense. I played so many blobbers. Uh -huh. Yeah, big blobber fan. Um, <laughs> you know uh, that. You know me. <laughs> what, Wizardry is a big example <laughs> of this. Uh, recently, Legends of Grimrock mm -hmm. is a really good yeah. uh, uh, one. I'm trying to remember, did, is Ultima Underworld a blubber or are you just one guy? I think you're just one game. guy in that game. Maybe I'm wrong though. One Jack can, unfortunate can man me. stuck in the dark. Um, there's one I really want to play with y'all at some point that is, mm -hmm. you know, it, let's say this fizzles out five episodes in because time gets bad. <laughs> I would love yeah. to, to come back to, to blobber country and do, um, <laughs> what is the, it's called like, Jack, you're going to know it as soon as I say it. It's like the word potato is in it, or someone in chat might, oh, might know. Oh, yes. It. It's, um, um, what? Yes. It's on my fucking Steam wish list. Yeah. Like every game that anybody has ever made. Oh my god, what is it called? Why have I blanked on this? Potato uh, Flowers in Full Bloom. Potato oh. Flowers in Full Bloom. Potato Flowers in Full Bloom, uh, which is like a fairly affordable, like $18 uh, uh, little, what you hear it on my phone now. Um, <laughs> yeah, really, really cool ideas in that game. Um, a really fun visual, visual presentation and a really good, like, get your feet wet one of these. Anyway, let's introduce the Seabirds, which is the name of our adventuring guild. Here, of yep. course, is our sovereign uh, albatross. Uh, the sovereign mm -hmm. class is a support class. Uh, we have been leaning towards um, letting Healing. her be our healer. Yeah, exactly. Um, I played some Etrian Odyssey 2 uh, Untold, uh, or Etrian Odyssey Untold 2, the remake of 2. Um, that, or no, is it 2 that? Yeah, it's 2, and that yeah. has a sovereign in it. Um, uh, Untold does anyway. Uh, and so I've gotten, my, I've gotten my head around the class a little bit more from that. Um, in our fiction, she is like a... The, the princess or the, the heiress of a noble house that has fallen on hard times and they're off to try to recreate their, you know, regain <laughs> their prestige by becoming well-known, famous and rich adventurers. Um, of course, she has her uh, her like wise counsel, uh, the Zodiac twerp. full mar. Yeah, the, the, exactly. The, uh, her token twerp. Her token twerp, her personal <laughs> worm tongue, Zodiac. Who is yeah. kind of a mage character? Uh, what uh, if sovereign immunity was shit? What if sovereign Sorry. immunity was shit? What if sovereign immunity could do lightning magic? You know? Whoa! Uh, exactly. Um, Less uh, shit now, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly, exactly. No, sorry. Yeah, Sovereign is, is her class, not her name, Yovin yeah. uh, Yovinismo. Um, yeah, Fulmar here, uh, the Zodiac. Uh, then, of course, they got. <laughs> they got. I rolled a dice. Uh, you rolled a die. Yeah, thank you, Sylvie, for owning this decision. This is I Blue support Fred, her. our buccaneer who brought them here to Armor Road on her commissioned, you know, uh, pirate vessel. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Und under boob jump scare. That's right. Bluefoot's yep. here. Uh, her her like chief guard, uh, Stork, the hoplite, who is of course a tank. I should go back. Bluefoot is like a DPS, and in fact. 
if I remember right, Sylvie was kicking ass on our yeah, map. Yeah, she was like our just... go-to DPS. I think it's because we leveled up her rapier mastery so much. That she just makes has like sense. a lot of starting, yeah, starting early damage. Raw damage. Yeah. Stork is our is our defender, is our chief, you know, taking hits for the team, putting up shields and, and uh party dad. defense. Yeah, exactly. Party dad. And then of course there's Shrike. Uh, who was was also hired? What was our fiction for Strike? Recently hired? Strike is recently hired, does not like the ocean, gets seasick, right, gets is seasick. a land bird of, yes. the, of the team because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, he's not he's not from Armor Road. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the one thing I remember is that, um, oh, I already, we just said his name and I already forgot it. Our Hoplite, but because they both have... Stork. They both have straw hats. So that's Stork got him matching, oh, matching straw right. hats. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Exactly. So that's yep. the current crew. Yep. Sylvie, I think it's you had vibe. a good idea. Go ahead, Jack. Oh, is the vibe that the princess has sort of dragged these people into the dungeon? Uh, I how willingly are they following Damn the princess? Them. Or are they sort of like, well, okay, into the dungeon we go, I guess. Princess wants her throne back. I, you I know, it depends. it depends, right? Sorry, I'm trying to like, get you um, a different screen. How do I, I get feel like with like Stork and Fulmar, it's definitely a duty thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, yeah, they don't get a chance or they don't get a choice, right? And I yeah. bet Fulmar is like, I've heard there are tomes in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy tomes loves great tomes. power. You know? Yeah, a hundred percent. Real like I can get something for myself. I'm sure Bluefoot is like, yeah, I get a cut of the treasure. You know, I get a percent, so I get to. I'm gonna stick around. And then I don't. Strike. Strike is here for mysterious reasons. TBD. Pay. Yeah, pay. Mercenary. Out. But we'll figure out. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um. So, but you pitched a really fun idea. Yeah, I think Jack should make a new crew member. Yeah, agreed. So we should register a new character. You can bring. We can help, five. obviously. You can only have five. Um, in the party. In the party at a time. But you know, there, one way to play this game is to rotate people in and out. Uh, is to like have have a back, you know, a, a back bench that you that you cycle people into once you have a good handle on a place. We don't necessarily need to bring this person out today, but we also could. We could put someone on the bench and bring in your new level one character here, Jack. Are we looking to fill a particular slot in our party composition? Not at this point. I think all of our at this point, all of our needs are met. And what would be happening is, depending on what you picked, they would be able to cycle in for a different use, right? So, like, it is one of the good things about this game is that, yes. like, you can kind of make pretty much any combination work to some degree. Right. More, some are more optimal than others, but it's like, you know. So, like, if we brought, if you decided you want to make a monk, we would probably sit Albatross for a round to bring down, to bring in the monk because they both do healing, right? If you made yes. a gladiator, we might sit Bluefoot the Buccaneer because they're both kind of DPS focused, generally speaking. But we could also sit, um, we could probably also sit um, Shrike, who is who leans DPS, but has like some debuffing capabilities and just lean into just doing as much damage as we wanted. Yeah. What are the obelisks? They are their gun people? They are they're crossbow, giant crossbow people. Um, where, and I know what you're saying, which is, those seem to be huge. Um, <laughs> he um, looks like he's got a bandolier. A bandolier of bullets. Those are those are crossbow bolts. They're just big. I'd bandoliers. say they're more ballista. Aren't they honestly. are ballista. You, you're right. They're ballista scale crossbows. Yes, a hundred percent. I am toying between an obelisk or a farmer. Uh, yeah, Jack. We know. Yeah. I knew Farmer would be on the table know you. for sure. We are good friends with you, in fact. Yeah, <laughs> known you for a while. Uh huh. Farmer is really interesting. Um, if I can, I get a skill list for Farmer. All right, so Farmers are fun. They are um, kind of not great at fighting at all. They have a handful of things that are kind of fighty skills, like this one that puts them and all enemies to sleep if it hits. Um, to start out with, I think that they have some stuff that's like not directly combat lo uh, focused, but is like dungeony focused, like showing yeah. FOE locations. FOEs. Kind of like a utility class. That's right. In a lot of yes. ways. Um, and they're really good at the stuff that happens between combat instead of the stuff that happens during combat. Uh, but we could bring one. 
Yeah, here's my question, right? You know, with a lot of utility classes, yeah. in play it turns out that they're not actually all that useful. Yes. You know, because it's like what they are saying as a, an expressive playstyle mm -hmm. isn't actually necessarily coherent yeah. with what you're going to be doing in most of the game. Sure. I do have a counter to that, which is that people do all five farmer runs of this game. They do. <laughs> Whoa! They do. Oh yeah. God. Well, because you get such point, an it is just you get such an advantage dungeon. Right. Well, you get such an advantage from the crafting side of things because you're like getting a ton of resources all the time, the, um, stuff like that, getting rare yeah. stuff. You know. Status effects are also good, even if they afflict on the um, user, because also like eventually the, you yeah. get the. Um, Oh, I can't remember the name of the move, but there's a move, Sympathy Pain. It's mm -hmm. down there, mm -hmm. um, which can, sh you can share status of right. ailments with, with the, the enemy. enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, no, there's definitely pitch. stuff to do here. Yep, give me your pitch. Let's, uh, my pitch is that we pick Farmer. Yep. We pick that little fucking Red Riding Hood girl with the basket in blue. In blue, this one, yeah. She's just a kid in the dungeon. That's just a child who we found in the who dungeon. They have just found. Yeah. And you're okay. like, well, we're going in the direction she's going because she's a child <laughs> and she'll die if we don't take care of her. Yeah, sure. And she's like, well, they're going in the direction I'm going because <laughs> I know where all the useful stuff in the dungeon is. Right. Perfect. I love it. What's her name? Uh, we get nine. Shit. Um, yeah, it's not a lot I'm of Googling lines. birds. I, I was. The bird list is still in my search history. <laughs> I was gonna say sh Shearwater, but Shearwater is 10. Too long. Mm. Too long. Mm -hmm. All that bird knowledge, you know? Pelican. Puffin is pretty fun. Pelican is, is fun. What about Hyper, like a sandpiper. Oh, Gwyn, short for penguin. Is that what you yes. were about to say? <laughs> yes, Gwyn. That's very sure funny. For an Ursula like, can we not, we can well. fit Penguin, and we could just call her Gwyn. Penguin, penguin is for really sure. Funny. Too. Penguin that Penny is real. Penguin, but Penny in in is very fun. I like that. And some people call her Gwyn too. And some people call her Gwyn. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we like Penguin? Yeah. I'm down with Penguin. Absolutely. Penguin small is child. Small child named Penguin. Is this adventure re ready to register? Yes. No, we will not be registering another person. We will, I'll however. Be 12 in the chat says Gull Boss. <laughs> uh, all right. So, who is staying home? Um, I think we need to bring Bluefoot. We simply and need to Stork. bring Bluefoot and Stork. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because, like, if we're bringing a farmer, we need to have mm -hmm. um, some, mm -hmm. you know. Is Stork a frontliner or a backliner? I... Stork is a frontliner for us at this point. There's okay. a way to get stuff that lets Stork go to be backline, um, but at this point, having someone up front who can take that sort of damage is too important for us right now. This um, is where me playing Etrian Odyssey 4 is mixing me up, I think. Totally. Well, you can eventually get switch stab that lets you yeah. uh, change rows and so you could like start in the back line and then zip into the front line but importantly the shield thing gives you bonus defense in the row you are in yeah and so it makes the most sense to have that front row be as tough as possible with him in it for now at least you know um so this yeah. this front and back row thing is sort of the, similar to the way that duck's dungeon and co yep. yeah a little bit right a little bit. Like... there's a little less movement back and forth generally speaking than in darkest dungeon where you've whole classes built around that um it when it when you, things will get switched is similarly in darkest dungeon when you get surprised there's a chance for that to happen like if you get attacked from behind by certain right. enemies mm -hmm. i believe that can happen and then i also when your front line is dead your back line gets moved to the front yeah yeah um uh, we could theoretically go without Fulmar, but I, I hate the idea of not leveling our mage. That is my worry, too. You know, so I would gonna, say if we're... I think it it's would either, probably be Albatross. It's either Albatross or Shrike, but if we leave Albatross, we don't have heals. Uh, pe I, uh, Penguin, Albatross. we can probably spec into uh, past uh, like out-of-battle heals. I oh, don't know that we can right away. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to get two skill points, right? Uh, oh, oh it doesn't Let's, should let's, have let's put her in really quick and just see what happens. Uh, I'll put Shrike in and see if we can do it that way. Uh, um, main status penguin. I think we want to go to custom if we want to use her. Oh, you're right. It's custom. Points. Yeah. My bad. Custom skill penguin. All right. We get three skill points. Yeah. Um, so let's see what we could do. Oh, I might be wrong. 
This is Revive and Cure pe uh, Petrify at Camps. Yeah. Not useful. Well, it's useful, but it's not useful in the way that we're talking. I forgot um, that horseplay is a skill. What's horseplay do? Shirk sure responsibility. Oh, right. It lets you wait, which is actually it really useful. It lets you wait yeah. is for certain quests. Yeah. yeah. Harvestry isn't what I was thinking either. As a, I'm probably misremembering this class. Um, this is Last useful. stream, I misremembered so many things. That's I just want right. to it's apologize. Minute, right? no, I, so. I got snotty about it, though. Um, <laughs> mm, love to get bandage is under common skills is what I'm thinking. Oh, Thank you, Elvan. Common uh, skills. 47. Right, which you could only do during from the menu. From yeah, the it menu, wouldn't have to be out combat. of combat. Right, right. And it takes um, TP. It does. It only takes two, which is not. It so only bad. takes two. It's not a ton. Yeah. Um, I guess it would be yeah, nice no, to listen. figure out where we want to bring her though, in terms of. If we want to leave my sweet baby boy Shrek behind, I understand. It's that is also a similarly lightly like, oh, I don't want to have a DPS fall behind in right, XP too right, much. Right. But the benefit of having a farmer is if we give her, um, I think it's Earth's bounty that raises XP as long as she's alive. Yes, totally. Which would yeah. help boost the rest of that oh, crew. Oh wow. Yeah, which yeah. is great. Um, yeah, we could do, we could easily do one in Earth's bounty. Uh, someone said. Party to HP TP also increases with camp mastery, um, but that's only that's for the skill. For the well, that's for camp. Yeah, camp. I, I don't know if we have. Yeah, like, we, uh, harvestry camp, seems like yeah. the thing to get. Here. Harvestry is the huge thing. Yeah, yeah harvestry yeah, so, is gonna be like that's gonna get our like not to sound too like if I'm playing Balotro here. That's gonna get our econ going. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, does that does that does harvestry give you those skills to begin with? Like, do, do um, we also gives... need to get chop mine and take if we have? No, I think it gives you one point in each. Okay, yeah, yeah, and I also don't think we've seen any any camps yet. So yeah, um, yeah, okay. So let's do one in earth bounty, one in harvestry, ha yeah, and then do we want to do one in uh, yeah, bandage? Bandage probably. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, a little bit. Okay, we yeah. can also bring albatross. You don't have to listen to me. No, on let's one. do it. Let's okay. let's let's run it and see how it goes. And if it starts going bad, we'll we'll slip it slip it back out. You know, we'll. I we'll like the idea around. of her being like, "Fine, if you want to take care of this little brat, I'll stay. Here. I'll stay here." Yeah, I mean, they're here to work for albatross, right? Albatross yeah. doesn't technically need to, you know, do do. Just go hang out, out at the exactly, bar. exactly. Um, all right. We do we have any quests? We should go chat with people at the... Uh, Did you complete that map? You were like, map the first floor. I think we fled, but let's check in with the Senate. I love her. Whenever... She's great. Ooh, no, okay, we, we have we, to... We still have yeah. not done this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, she's great. Whenever we go to this here... I keep thinking it's the beginning of Mamma Mia with the first few notes. I was literally just about to say that. I'm so glad. No quest. Yeah, look at that. This part right here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Those first few notes. It's very good. Um, yeah, there is a respect, but it's, it's we won't have it for a while. And it's uh, it, it it's you down often used level. to, yeah, it brings you down levels. It's often used, used to respect into a different class all together, yeah. right? Oh, sure. Um, are we, I mean, we don't have any fucking money, do we? Or stuff, no, I think we, so we ended last stream stuff. respecting Okay, stuff, well then, well, we, maybe what we need to do We don't need is, to give anything to the farmer. We don't. Well, like, she's a backline. You're right, she's got a Yeah. Does she have? I don't. I don't think have, we, we might have something she can equip. Does she have a weapon? Does she? She has a dagger. Okay, she has a dagger. dagger. Yeah. We need loose armor. Everybody starts with a dagger. Club. I right, love the art. art. Right. Yeah. Me too. All right. Four it's the way that she's mid step is really funny. Mm -hmm. Just like in I go. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so cool. All right. So. As a reminder, what we did last time is we explored this kind of east central area, right? Mm -hmm. And then we came across this way and got got by. Oh, I guess we did come to one camp, huh? There was a camp, or maybe I just. Oh yeah, we we had a resting spot. Yeah, I don't know if right. it counts. Maybe as a it's camp not. Maybe it doesn't count as a camp. Um, we also learned that I much prefer to play this game with mouse and keyboard. So if you hear some keyboard clicking, that's <laughs> why. Um, Listen. It, you need to be on top dungeon crawling for him. That's right. right. We didn't go down we this way. So maybe here. we should go down this way this time. And maybe we Start won't run into a, a lynx new... that kicks our ass this time. Yeah, yeah we have lynx. Yeah, the lynx on our map, have we? It's we just, just, I think it was just a random encounter. It's a random it it encounter. wasn't an FOE. Yeah, exactly. So it's just over here somewhere. It, it's not a. Um, 
I, when you get to different parts of the map, different enemies will start spawning, but there's not oh. like a, a right, right, right. We can't oh, go yeah. past this guy. Right. Oh, okay. it, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark that actually. Yeah, we need, we need uh, to, we need more of a point. halt. That's actually a chop or take, isn't it? Um, yeah. I'm oh, gonna yeah. do this X. That's that's like we're not allowed to go past here. Guard needs map. Confirm. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the All way right. he is in the dungeon itself. Yeah. It's so. Oh. Oh. You mean like uh, here? Yeah. That yeah. little. Oh. Okay. We're gonna get jumped by some fanged fish. All right. Let's remember Nothing. what we have here. Daggers does what? Uh, oh, yeah, right. Okay, so it does. Yeah. It's like an AoE that does um, potentially does sleep. Let's let's yeah. hit him with it and just remind ourselves how this game works. Let's do line guard on the front line. She can just swing because she's so good at that. Um, and I'm not going to burn through stuff on with him. Oh, my God. Poor, no <laughs> poor little skills. penguin. All right. You She's here for moral support. That's right. He, she's got lunch in her little basket. That's right. Ooh, yes. Fuck yeah. Love to get to sleep. All right, we didn't need to spend any any TP on this, honestly, but no. it's fine. So we're not shown their health. We just sort of have to keep track. You can of, see a you can bar. See it oh, I see it right now. Right yeah, exactly. And then let's just go into auto. Yeah, we have we have out leveled these fang fish. I think the only one we need to remember is that the durians need magic oh, damage. To, right. To... Yes. Um, yes. Be taken down. Can we go? Th oh no! Wait. Yeah, we haven't found the way. other. We have not found yeah. the other way here, right? Yeah. yeah Kravis, I yeah. think it might be one of the ones that when we go through the it'll first open. way, it'll yeah, open. But sometimes sense. they don't. Um, oh, we're gonna get in a fight again soon. Uh, oh right, because the wait. We're, oh, it's down here. The bottom this, right. This little icon here that's warning. glowing red. Yeah. yeah it's a little warning. I right, know. Speaking of the Dorians. Oh, love right, that. Fine, okay, we're going to do fine here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will again use daggers. I will God, again use battle fine. music. It's so good. Let's burn you down. The number next to the skills, is that how many times you can use them before reaching a camp? Or I think it's the cost. It's the TP, the TP cost. cost. Oh, the TP yeah. cost. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is, it's expensive. Uh, TP management is like deeply real. I would say, mm -hmm. if not for having someone who I'm worried about in the party right now, uh, I would probably just do all these fights on auto and just do regular attacks and try to push through, which maybe we can actually do. I, I think we'd went. be able to. She hasn't hard. been attacked once. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we got a <laughs> slimy leg. All right, how about this way? Let's let's peek this out a little bit. Uh, I should turn. Ooh, a door. Ooh. Door opens. You know what that means. Time to put down the door icon. And fill it in. <laughs> I oh, love that. I oh, love putting down the oh, door icon. That's the good feeling. Ooh, what's this Excellent. little thing in front of us here? Uh, harvest spot, probably. Uh, it is a chopping yeah. point. A soft bark. Soft, soft bark. bark. Continue to chop. Hell yeah. Shield or armor? What do you think that's going to give us? Ooh, a supple branch. Supple branch is going to be like a wand or something. Yeah, um, no, definitely. What was the other one that you said? Uh, soft bark. Oh, soft mehush. A shield or arm? A shield or armor, shield, right? Shield or armor, shield yeah. Or armor. I understand. Yeah. Which, which one? Whoa, I might be. Whoa. I think I'm leaning armor. Right. Oh, she got hit. She got hit. All right, we should heal after this. Yeah, uh, maybe fight. line guard. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna line guard. I should have line guarded the first time. Is what I should have done. Uh, and let's go ahead, Void Star, and let's go ahead and stab this frog. Void Star? Is that a Void Star? Did you say Void Star? Void Star. Isn't that the name of the it's spell? Volt Star, but Volt Void Star is Star. cool as hell. Void Star. Void it. Star. Yeah. I need to make like a for... Dark Wave band <gasps> called Void Star. Oh, don't like this. Don't like this. I, mean, I think we got this, though. It's just one frog. <laughs> how hard could it be? No, like, look how little HP it has. Shrike okay. will move first. Okay, you're right. Shrike will move first. You're right. Good. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. Good Whew. instinct. Good instinct. That's why, why you keep the uh, speedy guy on the team. That's right. That is why you keep a speedy guy on the team. The, All right. Um, so, skills, penguin, bandage. Oh, I can't remember the name of the skill right now. Um, they're like, oh, oh, no, it's just the lance snack in, um, in four has a move that is literally you attack before anybody else. And oh, it is so useful for situations a, like that. Whenever there's a question about who goes first, it's you. Yeah, I think it's called <laughs> Sonic Raid. Oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah, that, that whole class is actually in four is I about mean, going first and then your attacks getting followed up or like the, the whoever attacks after you gets like elemental buffs on their 
So um, I need to change. I need to change this. Slide right away needs is... to be D. Slide left needs to be. Slide right needs to be A. Oh, oh instead God, of not, turning. Yeah, instead of turning. Why, why? Why are you not letting me click on the thing I'm trying to click on? There we go. Nope. Right. Right. Because I just changed it. That's why. Uh, slide right needs to be A, and then we the turning can be Q and Turning's up. E. Is it up? Yeah. Uh, oh, it did. It flipped it. it no, it didn't. Wait, Q, no, it did. Right. Move. Move. Slide is but yeah, but what's is that gonna count as? Move right is turn right. Is turn, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's much better. You may have noticed in the beginning there, I was really struggling with sidestepping when I meant to be not sidestepping. Ooh, lush greenery and vibrant flowers surrounding you. You reach a dead end. Gentle sunlight shines through the leaves, and you hear the chirping of birds. It's so peaceful here. You don't sense any monsters around. This spot seems ideal to take a rest. But continuing your exploration seems more important than resting here, so you take your leave. No! Let's rest! Did we just heal up? Prefer to rest. Can we not just... No? Okay. What's your HP at? Maybe, maybe it's because we're... No. Oh, no? That's well, no, weird. We didn't, yeah. We should probably get people I'll up the full. mark this, maybe? Yeah, you might need, like, camping equipment or yeah, something. Yeah, that's possible. Well, da, da, da. let's see here. You said da, 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 to the tune of the song yes. just a second ago. That was intentional. That was all Okay. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was camping like, wow. Camping spot, maybe? Maybe? Camping spot. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Spot millennium break. Camping spot millennium Ooh. break. Where's the second set of stuff? Isn't there another set of icons? Or am I imagining that? Is it on um, um, V? No, that just goes between the two. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there's one that I really love that's like a sparkle that I'm missing right now. Oh, you know yeah, no, about? I know the one. Um, or maybe it's just not Is there maybe something one. you need to highlight and, oh, and like maybe. hold click like, on? I feel like that did happen last time. Yeah. Uh, apparently you need a tent icon and a campsite to, to use a camp space. All right, well, you know, I thought we had more spaces or more icons. No sparkle in this set. That's tragic. That is tragic. Sparkle's so good. Uh, the button to the left of the grid of the icons is just the is moving this thing back and forth. Um, so yeah, all right, that's fine. I'll notice the little red mark. Oh, moving so much. Oh, you were right though, here. Sylvie. We could have probably healed up just to heal up. Yeah, we're doing all right. So line guard up. What is her skill again? Potential blind. Let's try, let's see if we can blind this guy. Why not? Yeah, Volt Star, not Void Star. Void Star. The dim light of the Void Star. <laughs> that is actually super realist, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, different type of star over there, though. I don't know if that. Can you call it a star? Ah, you Hard know. To say. What question. is a star? What is a star? Got the blind off. Love that. Let's just burn this guy down. There we go. Hustle Kundarak in the chat says Super Realis, but spelled as one word. Yeah. Super Realis is the uh, is the spin-off. I actually already like, know what the spin-off is, Jack. Which is <laughs> oh fucked my up. God. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's you the know, other spin-off. It's the other spin-off, right. And we, we should we not go after. this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The link, Link's direction? Yeah. Uh -huh. We should not go to the Link's direction. We should just kind of grind out a level here for for Penguin. We'll probably get so us do we think a level. that these fish okay. breathe air? Do we think that the, 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 oh, the medium in the dungeon is different? Are we, like, underwater except is there, the there's light? A there's a beach area. We should we should take a look at that. Oh man, this XP up is already paying off. Huh? Yeah. Let's see. Let's look at the book. Um, or is there not? Am I wrong about this? Is there I not? I think we a... have to do this at the. Oh, we have to look at. You can look right. at it in battle or at the. Like you can get a reference right, of right, weaknesses right. in battle, and then the actual one is at the lady. Um, gotcha. The mission place. Right. That makes sense. I mean, I think we are in. We're on the surface, right? We're just descending into. You know, you can see waterfalls and things. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. We're definitely not below territory below the waterline yeah do you, you know, know where this game oh, wait, is gonna go leveled. dungeon wise 
I have a loose I idea. I know I know a few things. Vaguely, is what I would say. Um, Interesting. I remember some zones, but that's kind of it. Yeah. Like I just remember like art direction. Um, <laughs> I know the I know what the secret classes are. There's two unlockable classes. Oh, I think I also remember. And those. so I know from those I can take a guess. <laughs> Lot on the faces. It's the sequel to Indoor Fish, Outdoor Fish. <laughs> oh, they're so much more dangerous because they only die if they go inside indoors. So you have to build a house around them, <laughs> like a like a sim you're trying to kill. Uh, we should be in auto now. Yeah. Crollo closes the window. Uh, Crollo opens the window, and the fish go outside because they're delighted to be able to frolic <laughs> free exactly, outside. Exactly. Fulmar must have died last time, huh? Fulmar got eaten by the lynx. Yeah, that makes sense. Fulmar like, got one hit. Which explains the the differential in XP. All right, yeah. custom. Let's get some skills going here. Odesk um, in the chat says, Sylvie, very important question. Did you see the illustration of Krolo that Tagashi posted last week? I think it's the least hot and most scary he's made him on. look. It's an I'm old looking. illustration, so no spoilers. <laughs> I'm checking, I'm checking. I need to Google Tagashi Twitter because his username is UN4V5S8BGSVK9XP. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking platform assigned username Name. ass. Yeah, uh -huh. it is kind of a king maneuver. But yeah, I don't care. That's it. That's all I need. I'm uh, looking for this. All right, so we did get skill points here for everybody, except for Fulmar, who's we'll get there in a second. Yeah. Um, uh... I do love the idea of TP reduction for. Yeah, I was thinking about that because we were Hold using on, that what is, a lot. Could I just? Could we just check what the move? What um is Azuna the one that does extra damage when? Uh, no, okay, never no, mind. Wait, what's the one that you're looking for though? I was looking for one that does extra damage when a enemy has a status, uh, status ailment, effect. but I might be thinking of a later thing, or uh, like something else. Uh, let's see. Let's look around. Um, look around. Normal attacks may be fatal blows. Love that. Yeah. Uh, Revenge bomb also a sick move. Yeah. <laughs> remember? That's right. 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 Yes. Yes. I do. Remember oh, that. I is. I think I have. I, okay. Yeah. I have seen this crow. He's very menacing. It's a very interesting drawing of him. <laughs> uh, got a kind of a way more of a chin than usual. Can you link this in our? Uh... Yeah, I'll pop it in um, live shows. I have two. So thoughts. like, I don't get roasted by Keith and Dre for just posting <laughs> Crollo randomly in the in the um, chat. I have two thoughts here. I I think Mr. Calm the TP reduction is great. We've been using yeah. Nimpo daggers a lot. Uh, it's nice to be able to, to inflict sleep um, easily. Uh, Nimpo mirrors we could get that spreads um, ailments, oh, uh, which yeah. is really sick. Um, I like con concealment, the idea long term of if we're going to keep Shrike in the front line, uh, having him be a sort of a like dodge tank is really nice. Yeah. Um, uh, and then and then just continuing up on knife mastery is also potentially useful, as we've seen with Bluefoot, you know? Yeah, I'd go either, personally, I think either Knife Mastery or even another point into Ninpo to make it, like, proc more. Sure, to make it proc um, the, the sleep. The sleep a bit yeah. more, because yeah. then, oh, like, correctly. there's a bit more just, like, I don't know, use case for it. Totally, totally. Um, uh, importantly, other than just the fan of, like, three hits. Of three know? hits, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. I'm good with that. Let's do that. Uh, yes, Mr. Calm would, uh, to the person who asked, allow us to put Shrike in the back line. Uh, no attack penalty from the back row. Though I don't know that it means that he'd be able to reach the enemy back row from back there. I'm not 100% sure. I think he'd only be able to hit front line. Front probably. line, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right now the way it works is, you know, the front line can hit front line or back line, whereas back line can only hit front line unless they use ranged weapons like an Arbalist, right? An Arbalist can hit either line. Uh, all right, who's next? Have we mm -hmm. met enemies in the back line yet, or have they all been frontline oh, enemies so far? I think we've only had frontline enemies. Are, is there a back line for enemies in this game? There is, I yeah. I mean, there? I'm pretty sure there is. I feel like that's a staple. Mm, Levon says, I don't think enemies have a front back line. Mm, the people are debating. Oh. People are debating in the chat. <laughs> all right. I, I would, again, I've been playing four recently, yeah. and it's hard for me to know what is, um, What's what is the mega new to that one. Four? Four is, uh, it actually doesn't really have one. Oh, um, interesting. Four is, is the way four of, works. I'm trying to remember. 
you have an airship. Right, right, right. You right, have right. like yes, a yes. there's you, Tharsis. The town is your base, and then you sort of like fly around to different labyrinths, but they're not mega dungeons in the same sure. way. I don't think um, there are ones that are massive. Like there's there's one massive one per zone, um, and I think there's three like airship zones. That makes um, sense. And then there's also smaller dungeons within. I think they call them like labyrinths and mazes might be the oh, terminology, but I might that's be wrong. Uh, I have a um, thought here, which is if our goal right now is to beat that Lynx, maybe what we want is for Stork to have Provoke. Yeah, it right. goes well with Line Guard, too. Yeah. Is uh, he, would he be able to tank the Lynx? Uh, better than anybody else. Okay. <laughs> Not on this run, right? We'll have to back out really quick, heal up and stuff. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, if we're worried about that, we should. Yeah, we're definitely, we are definitely uh, not looking at it right now. Um, Trickster sounds great. Uh, though right now we're just kicking ass with just raw. We attacks, might want to get like a skill on her. We have like, lights out. Lights out. We do. Okay. We do. We have it already. It's the blind. Um, it's just that we don't use it that we often. We haven't really needed to use it because she just Again, good, lacks everything. Maybe good to put another point into it. If we're going to go fight that Lynx, the blinded Lynx is going to be easier to beat than the one that can see us. Yes. Yeah. Right? Classic yeah, saying, more. the blind Lynx is easier to defeat than the one that can see you. Um, oh. What are our slash? Who's doing slashes for us? That's um, Shrike. Okay. I think Shrek does mostly slash, mostly and then I, slash. I don't know if Ninpo counts as Pierce or not. I think okay. it's also slash because it's dagger. Interesting. Sure. I think just all dagger attacks count um, as slash. Lowers one under physical defense. That's not bad. Normal attacks have a higher chance of being critical is not bad. That might not be That's bad. That's pretty good. And then raises the encounter rate, brief, uh, rate briefly. Great. Yeah. Listen, that's as long as you want that. As long as you want to level grind. grind. Yeah, 100%. Look at these little sort of blue lozenges with the foot in and the hand. What does that indicate? Um, so... In hand, oh, uh, Deb, uh, in the bottom oh, oh, panel, oh. you're seeing these little... Yes, yes, yes. Um, those have a chance of binding, I believe, different yeah, parts of so. the body. Am I or, right, chat? It's either that or it's you can only use them if you're not binded there. If you're not binded, that would make I sense. I can't remember yeah, the specific because yeah, yeah. it doesn't say they bind, but I, I they could. You're right. Um, I think it would say if they if they bound. Um, so for instance, Jack, let's I think I think Shrike has stuff that or maybe he doesn't. Okay, yeah. Let's Confirmed. See. That's what body part that skill uses. Okay. If your character is binded by that part, they can't use it. Thank you, Chicken Hunter. Do we not have anybody who binds? That's like an arbalist thing, mostly. Oh, interesting. Okay, so so yeah, Jack. On top of doing things like blinding and uh, poisoning and stuff like that, you can bind body parts. Head normally it's head, arm, and leg, huh. um, and that's because certain abilities need those things unbound to use, including right. from enemies. So if you have a fire breathing dragon and you bind its head, it can't breathe fire anymore. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, that ends up being yeah, so like this is head, right? So this so yeah. Shrike would need his head unbound so that he could make them target one specific ally for three turns. Presumably he's yelling something or saying some sort of ninja incantation, you know? Um, yeah, classic ninja spell. Classic ninja business. spell. Exactly, exactly. Ninjutsu, guys. Naruto does Sorry, tons ninjutsu, of them. Ninjutsu, ninjutsu. Sorry, apologies. This is okay. I'm not being a Naruto guy. That's my close personal friend, Naruto. Oh. I'm clearly a Naruto expert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you'd like Naruto, the guy. <gasps> I think you'd like the character of Naruto. He seems cool. Uh, he's cool. he's gone like at, at, at times. I'm gonna put I a like point gone most of the time. into our yeah. critical rate. No, I'm gonna put a point into lights out. Let's continue down. Let's. Mm, I'm torn. I'm very torn. Maybe what we should put a point into is I was gonna say rapier damage, uh, just but I'm always min saying max that the shit out of her. Just min max the shit out of her. But no, I. Lord. If we're relying on her basic attack, it m might be worth to put a point into the crit chance. That's the thing, if, right? Yeah. Like, if we want her to be doing more status effects, though, like, because we're worried about beefier enemies, we should we should probably put a point into either one into of the chase lights moves out or, or lights out. Yeah. Well, the chase moves don't, by default, the chase don't, moves do, don't do status they effects, don't. but they'll, like, add... I, right, I think so they do more damage does, than a normal attack. Yeah, I think let's do, let's put a point in the lights out. Again, let's think about our current goal is getting links ready. And I think that that does that for us. Yes, and then, uh, um, 
Go ahead. No, sorry, I was going to just read a chat thing about please, how status please. ailments are strong. Yeah. Uh, Chicken Hunter says, status ailments and binds are really strong in this game. Nothing is totally immune to everything, and right. bosses can get locked down or wrecked yep. by ailments and binds. That is my experience yeah. of the other entry in games. Uh, so speaking of, what if we gave Penguin Lullaby? Yeah, let's Please do it. She needs something. And all enemies to yep. sleep. Uh-huh. Uh, which is really great in a uh, any sort of uh, encounter where there is a bunch of enemies, where you can, like, put a whole set of them asleep and then worry the about... Down, because she's not going to be doing a lot of damage anyway. <laughs> Shut the farmer down. Shut the farmer down. Shut the farmer down. I, I, the lullaby makes me picture one of those like images where it's like died, born, like welcome back, but it's like <laughs> Jigglypuff and Penguin. Yes. It's line guard. Let's attack. Let's, you know what? Let's see it. Let's see if it works here. Let's lullaby. What's the, um... Let's burn the rest of this Cost of dying. Here. Uh, your character dies, you have to go revive them, and they're not going to get any XP from the fight that they're in. Oh, that's so fun. And if everybody dies, it's game over. Exactly. Okay, so... Like, jump the title screen. Right, 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 right. Full game over, yeah. Um, so now, yeah, that left one is... Oh, uh, it was only asleep for a turn. That's fine, though. It's still useful. I'll take it. Penguin, however, still fast asleep. Still fast asleep. Ooh, crit. Love that. Oh, uh, we're... Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's just auto. Yeah, we're good. I see what you mean about the TP management becoming oh, a thing. Oh, yeah. It's a whole thing. Oh, Fulmar. Buddy. <laughs> we'll get him there. <laughs> yeah. I'd say let's get him here, and then let's let's swing back to town. Sell the, the stuff we got Sell from the that chopping stuff. spot. Yeah. Plus, we've been getting stuff. Mark that spot on the map. Uh, we should do that. I don't believe I did that for some reason. Uh, so, yeah, let me do that. Skills. Line guard. Uh... Skills, lights out. Let's just go all out here since we're leaving. Uh, skills lullaby. We only have two people who are level two. Um, the Julian Joe in the chat. We have uh, we made a new character, and then the other three of them are level four, I believe. Yep. Uh, Fulmar died in our last our last uh, yeah. dive into the dungeon, and we just cycled Penguin in for fun. Wireframe says, remember your limit skills? Oh, the in resets the bar. I did forget our limit oh. skills. Entirely forgot our limit skills. There's our level. Oh, level three. Sorry. I thought they were level four for some reason. Oh, no. Yeah, what are our limit skills here? Uh, There's oh, double slash. Right, 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 yeah. right. You're right. Oh, Which we should set we charge tactic set. on Penguin. Yeah, we should. There we go. Um, yeah, we've not done these at all, right? Uh, They're really run. useful. Right, right, right. Yeah, Stark has Indomitable. Okay, sure, okay. Wait, and what's charge tactic do? Raise ally uh, attack. Because remember, right, these right, don't right, use right. a turn. That's right, yep. Um, yeah, where was that? <laughs> oh, it was here, wasn't it? The, uh... Oh yeah, it's in that top right. Was uh, it zone. a chop spot? What was it? It was a it chop was spot, chop. yeah. It was chop. Okay. I love that chop is scissors. It's very fun. Yeah. All right, let's head back. We get another fight. That's fine. All right, I can speed run. Yeah, there we go. There's a run button in this game. Nice. Uh, yeah, I got to add run button to the guild. That's right. Oh, let's go sell stuff first. All right, sell. So the way this works is the things we sell unlock items in the shops, right? That's right. So, for instance, we just sold all that stuff. New items are available. What do we think it is? A shield of some description. So that was our guess, right? Oh, we go back. Weapons. Oh, oh, oh we need two Main more. Main gauche. Main gauche, which is a sword, just a regular sword. No, it's yeah. a. Oh, it's a dagger. It's made it's out a dagger. of jaw. It's made out of a large jaw. Yeah. Anyway, uh -huh. it seems pretty good. It does. Is there anything else? Life belt. We need four we more need frog. Four more sheets. frog seek. <laughs> to get a life belt, which Damn. is what? Does it say what it does here? It doesn't say what it does until we get it. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's a it's a HP up. That makes sense. Anything here? We learned we tent. one more mountain claw. We'll get a tent, uh, and then yeah, that's it. it. Seems like that's it. Uh, do we want to give Penguin anything? No, first things first. We should sleep. We should spend our money to sleep. All the music is great. Every new menu. Oh, it's music. just fantastic. It really is. All right. Let's head back in. 
Unless we want to, let's double check. What do we need? Is there anything we don't have that we feel like we need? Is there any one, do we want to put better armor on to Penguin? Is there armor we can even give her? We give her a hat. Penguin's not taking any damage. Yeah, I would actually okay. think more about putting some armor on Fulmar. Is Fulmar not? Oh, you're right. That makes more sense because that's just because you don't want to die. Uh, he's a high damage yeah, yeah, squishy yeah. character. That's exactly true. You get some gloves, you get some st straw hat. Probably a straw hat, right? Yeah, gotta join the hat Everybody's boys. Oh, everyone is so... Z Fulmar is furious about this. Stork <laughs> just likes giving them to them. Yeah. He thinks it's good. You're gonna get sunburned in there. You're very sunburned. pale. That's true. All right. I think we should make a run at the links. Are we rocking with this crew or do we want to grab Albatross? We, we should rock, rock with the crew that's here. Okay. I'd get our asses kicked if it happens. Sure. I was just like, yeah, you, we don't want healing. Okay. No. You can't, you can't. Let's try. A Lynx deals mental damage that can't be healed from with a regular oh, wow. healer. So Is true. that so? So true. <laughs> I got a Lynx in Crusader Kings yesterday, actually. Someone showed up with one on a leash oh. and just gave it to me. Love that. Uh, let's save Lights Out. Let's save, let's save Bluefoot's TP. Let's save Full Mar. No, wait, did the Dorians, are the Dorians the ones who need? The Dorians do resist, but you could probably just beat the shit out of them at this point. You're probably right. Uh, I don't like fighting two of them. I want to burn one Volt Star, okay. one, one set of HP. Uh, I'm going to save hers. And we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll Oh, get we there. didn't give Fulmar the, the point. Oh, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Do that after this battle. Yep. Good catch. Because um, if we're worried about TP, we could probably raise it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Great. it's not a bad idea. There we go. Well, apparently, Lynx was weak to so fire. Is that true? Does people remember that from last time? Because we could also give him fire. Listen, I'm down to give him a fire spell. Yeah, I think that I feel like we had thought that that was a thing we were going to do. Because uh, yeah, we, we, we already have a point fire, fire up. up. And yeah, let's, let's, do do it. It. let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. It's such a satisfying looking skill tree. I really it do really feel like is. so much of a good skill tree is in its presentation. Yeah. And Good RPG needs a, a satisfying skill tree. You know, yeah. if you're expecting me to grind out levels, I need to feel good while doing it. I'm gonna get yeah. this next attack or this next combat thing. Fight out of the Fight way. Fight out of the way. Yeah, 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 exactly. How easy. How easy. Easy, one fish, Light one work. Durian. Light work. Yeah, that's lunch. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Call me Lyos Toten, the way I'm out here eating these monsters. <laughs> uh, Durian. Let's see. Let's Me neither. I'm very sensitive to smell is my worry with Jerry yeah, that I've heard sense. it's a very stinky fruit. Yeah. But I'd like to give it a shot. Easy. Thank you to Matt Mitchell 45 who subscribed uh, oh. for six months. Thank you, Matt. Uh, we, we really appreciate it. Truly a if real one, Matt. Yeah. If you'd hey, and also if you'd like to also support us, go to friendsthetable.cash. It's the best way to do so. We got a lot of cool bonus stuff up there, uh, including an upcoming Dragon Ball Z uh, um, Media Club Plus episode. I almost had a completely different podcast. Oh, I almost yeah. had a podcast that my friends make. And I was like, that oh. makes no sense. I mean, it's true. Yeah. You're also there and the friends are us. It's all. I mean, this is a podcast Jack, I make with my friends. Key. Yeah. yeah but the, it's Dre. It's true. It, you know, it's fine. I corrected. You did. I corrected and turned it into a funny little quirky thing. Um, <laughs> um, we got into a new room really quick. Uh, and oh, then, and then uh, as you continue through the forest, you reach a hall where colorful blossoms emit a sweet scent. The peculiar flowers sway in the wind. Their alluring oh, fragrance no. grows more alluring. Instead of resting here to more fully enjoy the flower scent. What's wrong? You don't want to rest it's here? Evil. No, it's fine. You rest, your uh, you rest your weary muscles, the beautiful flowers and their sweet aroma all around you. Everyone recovered oh, wait, 10 TP. Wasn't actually evil. That's right. Now fully rested, you resumed your exploration of the right. labyrinth. Jack, Not we're on this the deep end. we're on the first floor. Oh, I see. They're not gonna trick us that that easily. That's right. That's It'll right. be floor three. Exactly. Or two. Let's double check. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be anything here, but double checking. Okay. And yeah, we missed this whole little corner of the... Whoa, didn't mean that. Whoa, get, whoa, whoa. I forgot that you could even do this mode. Oh, look how big and beautiful this is. Whoa. <laughs> but also, where's my map stuff? Where, and where are oh, we? Fuck. 
Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, but we're right. ready. Austin. We're ready. And preemptive we'll attack. And we have a preemptive attack. We have a preemptive attack. Yep. Remember, we have a limit. We do it on uh, some characters, Yeah, too. we do, which is... What is the one that... That's cross slash. slash. That's a damage one. That's a damage one. Let's do it. Fuck it. And that way we start building it up again immediately. Yeah. Right? Um, mm -hmm. it, it did say... Provoke. It did... Well, but it did say preemptive attack. I think it goes last or we get a free turn, but I think provoke lasts for more than one turn. You're provoke right. and line guard right. both last for more than one turn. So you so might let's let's just... pop it on right away. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's see if we can blind. Let's double check the reference. Uh, yeah. we, we actually don't know what it is. We, so we haven't beaten it yet. We haven't beaten it yet. Let's try fire. Uh, and yeah. Sing it a song, let's Penguin. Song. Let's sing it a song. Give me the blind. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Miss. Fang, Penguin just did <laughs> though. Trial. It's fine. All right, here's fire start 37. That ain't That's bad. That's solid. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> Stay on this. Oh, we got it. Oh, it's almost done. Oh, it's we toast. got it. You could auto this guy. We're just gonna auto. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Do it. Flex on them. Let's go. That's right. Oh my God. The great links. More like the awful. That's right. All we needed was this one. little farmer to come with us. <laughs> she sang a song that did nothing <laughs> and it gave us enough power. Whew. As you slowly grow accustomed to navigating the forest, you find small footprints at a dead end. The footprints lead east, where you can hear something like an animal's cry beyond the bushes. Investigate? Yeah. Yes. Yes. As you carefully peer into the bushes, you find an animal caught in a hanging snare. You hear the cries of its brethren all around, as if uh, in response to its piteous wailing. Set the animal free? Of course. Yeah. After you cut the rope with a knife and remove the trap, the animal nimbly jumps down. The animal's still young. Once it's freed, two of its kind. What type of animal this is, we don't know. No, no, no. Uh, I'm, thinking, I'm picturing like a deer. Like a deer, sure. Two of its kind that seem to be its parents emerge. You freeze. You can sense that your luck is about to be put to the test. If your luck fails, the beast will miss oh my you God. your kindness and attack. The beasts glare at you for some time. Oh, Their hackles raise. But eventually, they slowly retreat. It probably is two lynxes, it probably actually. Is, yeah. They seem to have understood your actions were meant in kindness. You watch the Which animals. character did this? Um, Which one of our? This is Penguin. Two? This has Penguin's to be Penguin. Oh, no, Penguin's, yeah. Penguin's awake now. Right. The, at the end of the she just woke up. She just woke up and she was like, "Oh, I have to go free this baby. This baby lives." Yeah, it has it's to like, be. Oh God. All right. Didn't get anything from that, but didn't get killed. So. Uh, well, and your virtue is higher. Oh right, I forgot. Are we get seven <laughs> virtue points? But sometimes that leads into other future stuff, right? It might lead into future stuff. I think it's also just like a good way to be like, hey, there's skill checks in this game. Yeah. Because I'm pretty oh, sure right. that checked against luck, luck stat. That sounds yeah, some regard. It does sound right. Um, did we, oh, we did we level from any of that? Did anybody level? No, we didn't level. That was just a normal Fuck. random enemy, the links. It just hit, uh, it just okay, one hit our just, guy and we got scared. We got scared. Yeah, you're right. Oh my God. New giveaway in the chat. Albatross uh -huh. uh, with two crowns next to the name. Uh -huh. Gift of the Divine uh -huh. Fleet Tea to the chat. Albatross. Prince Albert Thank you. Back at Your base. Grace. Your grace back at base being like, they should have brought me on this. Everyone pay attention <laughs> to me. I'm I'm the princess. Yeah. You can type exclamation point enter uh, to enter for a chance to win a divine fleet tee designed by Connor Fawcett. Um, it's beautiful. so good. I wore mine cool yesterday. I was just wearing it. Also extremely soft. It's so soft. It's a great shirt. All right, we're gonna auto this down. There we go. After a Lynx, you know, what's the, what's anything? Should we, should we quickly wrap up this level? We should wrap up this level and then, and then go back and get the chop on the way out is what we should do. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. We're so close to having this map That's done. what I'm saying, yeah. And then we'll unlock a, like quests proper exactly. and that'll really help with XP game. Exactly. Uh huh. Oh, so yeah, someone said, was this a three? I think you might be right. I think this may have been a three step instead of a instead of a two, which is what I thought it was. Doesn't really matter, but let's clear it up. Let's good, make to, it. good to tidy it up. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, there's another door there. Is there anything else this way? Like a small crack in the wall. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you love that. that. A... You love that. All right. Yeah. Let's God. Go. Love a shortcut. That's going to be so clutch. That's so clutch. We, of course, Excellent. will ignore it this time because we want to... Oh, wait, what's here? Well, another small crevice, Whoa. but not from this direction. Interesting, interesting. Put one of those in. Let's open this door. <laughs> now, what are these? Follick in the chat says, 
Wait, I shouldn't have entered. I won this exact shirt in a giveaway last month. Listen. <laughs> Look, if you win again, that's just a real demonstration exactly. of your luck. Uh, Give it to a friend. Give it to a friend. This lights out this damn frog. These are both just it's, weak to... It's just weak to all magic. Uh, oh, oh, that one's weak to ice. ice. Which we do not have, so... But I will Fire Star. That one. And I will Lullaby. It's so funny. It's so funny. And maybe I shouldn't be Lullabying so much because a little extra damage every turn is not nothing. You know, it's good to remember that you're that you're able to do it. Though, yeah, right? yeah. Keep it fresh in your mind. Nice job, Stork. Nice job, Stork. Oof, forty damage. Let's go. All right, let's burn that motherfucker down. Uh, ah, just auto. There. Right, there we go. Easy. Easy. All right, now. Oh. My pillars. A large box. Let's open it. Yeah. 100 N. Um, and again, that's a chest. Yeah? Yeah, that's a chest. And here's another one. Yeah, this one has a Lynx in it. Oh, no. Ooh, Medica 2. We don't need that yet, frankly. But I'll take it. You know, don't, don't take it back from me now that I've said that. <laughs> it's basically a full heal, right? Yeah, I believe so. For us at this level, especially. Um, I actually the don't know, says, is it literally a full heal? Uh, moderate HP. Moderate. It, it gotten from a sea beast skin. Great. Fantastic. Love to find that in a chest in the dungeon, in the in the big forest dungeon. Uh, yeah. Let's put in this door. I mean, you know, it's the, it's the sinking labyrinth. You're right. When you're right. Yeah. When you're right, you're right. All right. This is where Bioshock is set. Oh. oh, that's what Peng Wait, Penguin's here. We hit, we spared her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get that chop Penguin. point. Also, I bet we can get through here now, huh? Let's see. Uh, report your success. You present the parchment with your map on it and inform the guard yes. that your task is complete. Excellent. The guard pours over your mask, or mask, your map with a critical eye and responds in a stern voice. No, no, this won't do either. Try harder before you come to me again. It seems your map is not yet complete. You must search. Continue your search of the labyrinth before your mission is finished. All right, we've missed something, folks. Is it? So there's the... We have this arrow here, right? That's just a yeah, yeah, north yeah. of us. Yeah. yeah. There might be I wonder a point in somewhere, huh? An entrance on the, like, western side that of the map. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Keep Penguin on attack duty this time. You know? Yeah. A little damage is better than no damage. J.L. Pollock says there's at least one part where you've made a mistake, too. Interesting. Really? That's interesting. Uh, sometimes the, the games are wants... not so severe about that, but... Uh, it, they, yeah. it, they mostly want you to just have the stuff filled in, but yeah. I don't know if they change that. You know, the... What we don't have that I do know normally would be a thing is we don't have the exit to this dungeon yet, which I thought would maybe be on the east side, but... Sometimes they want oh, that huh. to be like the next the next level of the dungeon, um, but Princess say? Albatross is gifting another divine oh. fleet to you. Okay, all hail the princess. We we you know give okay, the princess her dues. All, okay, all hail the princess. I'm glad you guys are on board now. Yeah, I've been here. <laughs> you know? right, so we just leveled, so let's get Penguin leveled. Um, give Penguin play Possum. Breathe slowly to lower the chance of enemies hitting you for three turns. <laughs> Very funny. Extremely funny. Penguin's uh, two skills, literally falling asleep and playing pretend, dead. Pretending to fall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all she does is Yamcha crater. That's like, right. that's all she's doing yeah. is she poses like Yamcha in the crater. I mean, this is good. Plant mystery seeds that bind all enemy heads, arms, and legs is kind of sick. Oh, that's no, that great. rules. That I, rules. It might be worth putting points in the lullaby to eventually to get, get there. there. Yeah, and so does Rotten Egg. <laughs> lower enemy strength for four turns. That's also fantastic. Um, She's the one who has stuff that increases with status effects. It's it's rotten egg lasts longer, right? Uh, right. Your status, or maybe it's stronger. Alien, I don't know. It, it gets stronger. Alien, we strength. Oh, it lowers the, the strength more. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. If yeah, there's a status ailments. Yeah. <laughs> if HP is maxing, you're in the front row. You'll recover TP. The idea of putting her in the front row is wild, but I bet you could do it. You know, sure. 
Uh, also, this we is also great. Know. The idea that she could, she could. Uh, there's a chance that she could revive at the end of the turn once per battle is great. Christ-like. Yeah, yeah. Um, we could also just lean into the XP buff. I that is where I'm at. I'm 100. percent I'm out. listen. We, it's you know, it's a pretty useful passive. Yeah, all things that's considered. What I'm thinking. 100. percent Everyone's with you. like. Things have just been easier for us since Penguin's around. Exactly. Back to Penguin, fast asleep, yeah. anime bubble coming out of our nose. I bet it's here. Nope, it's not. Fuck. Okay. Let's hit the chop point really quick. That was where the um, baby Lynx was. Oh, right. There we go. Supple branch, continue to chop. Soft bark to exhaust to continue. Oh, we right. could also next time we might want to put more into her harvest. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can wrap back around to it. Uh, well, yeah, let's do it. I'm literally Am I like buying dungeon encounters right yeah, now? Yeah, I. I want to like that game more than I do. I feel like it's just a little too bare mm -hmm. in its mm -hmm. presentation for me. I need like just a bit more to work with. It's the same I that's reason fair. I can't play like. The really old roguelikes that are like just, literally ASCII. Just ASCII. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm. I'm. I think Dungeon Encounter does some really clever stuff with the dungeon design itself and yeah. the characters. But I. I also. There's like a real pedigree. Behind oh, that, right? 100%. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Like that's like like some real like RPG royalty. If yeah. I'm remembering correctly, so, 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 so. I'm blanking on the names, but I I remember hearing this. It's um. Is it? Is it Matsuno? Is it... I'll look it up. Yeah. I, I don't know. I got a game in front of me. I, I can Google. What is, what is, what is this? It's, tool? um... Is this going to click and drag? I don't know. I'm trying to read what my... Ito. Hiroyuki Ito. Oh, uh, sure, sure, sure. Directed Final Fantasy VI. Can't um, spot, maybe. Right. Okay. Nine and twelve. Yes, 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 yes. We are, oh, we yeah. Are... And created the active uh, time battle. Right, of course. Oh, sure. Uh, we are currently not using anyone for healing in this run. Uh, or we have a sovereign back home, um, but we we keeps gifting we, yeah who keeps gifting t-shirts. We got a princess uh, back home. Yeah, but we <laughs> we just brought in uh, uh, a farmer for this uh, run through level one to get some XP. You know? Yeah. Truly would never play that way myself at home. No. Uh, because I'm a coward, but... I am such a, like, these are my five. Yep. I like, unless I really like, like, in... Especially when multi-classing is available in a lot of the later yeah. games. But, like, if I get, like, this, one of the secret classes, I might make a new character, like, to play with that. Sure. But usually I'm like, but the XP, yeah. the deficit. I'm very much the that can't stop me, I can't read. You yeah. know, looking at the sign. <laughs> I respect that so much. So much more than what I'm doing. Okay. It doesn't help oh, me. Oh, there in... it is. There it is. Oh, it's the hydrangeas. Boom. Got it. Yes. Let's make sure. Oh my god, there's ways. a fucking ton of dungeon out here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we there's go. Treasure Drop in, that in here. here. Oh, was there? Oh, there sure is. Yeah. Let's open that box. Utaka says, oh, in a similar vein, I just got the version of Dwarf Fortress with graphics, and it is so much more readable than uh, the ASCII graphics that scared me off of it for a long time. I'm so glad. Yeah. I was unable to play Dwarf Fortress for years because of the art, and then I learned it, and now I'm like, <laughs> but I, I don't want the art. Yeah, no. now you're like, uh, I like what we had. I should have learned how to see the Matrix, here. and now I'm being obstinate about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is this is nothing. Idea, fish. Get out of here, fish. There's a type of fish called Inimicus, uh, who's also known as the Enemy. Uh, you can hear about him in uh, 15 minutes. Uh huh. Um, Inimicus is a genus of marine marine ray finned fishes. They're very oh. very very poisonous, including to humans. Uh, the ten described species are collectively known by various common names, including ghoul, goblin fish, oh. sea goblin, oh, I know goblin fish, yeah. sting fish, and spiny devil fish. Oh, spiny devil fish. Oh. Uh, then this is going to connect here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We should make sure we fill out that room um, fully, though. Yeah, I'm going back in. I always just like to confirm that there's that it does mm -hmm. connect where I think it does. Why can't we open that chest? I was too busy it's learning locked. about the ghoul. The locked oh. chest. All right, these fuckers. 
She does not have the HP or the uh, the TP anymore. That's fine. Stab this frog. Let's stab this frog. You're listening to NPR. <laughs> Let's stab this frog. Let's stab this frog. All right. Should it's time to take a knife and <laughs> insert it into the frog. Oh. I'm Ira Glass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sound of footsteps crunching on gravel as they move yeah. into there. Pre-recorded segment. Did you guys hear that Mike Rabiglia story about stabbing a frog? It was wild. Priorities <laughs> <laughs> have turned into like a little movie. Nothing here? Okay, sure. Sometimes the dungeon just has little corners, you know? Oops. Yeah. I'm gonna go to that camping spot that's right here, or that rest spot that's right here to just get a little extra rest. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way actually to to get killed by uh Lynx. Is no, we're gonna, gonna kill it. Okay. We're gonna beat its ass. We're gonna find out. They give us no fear anymore, Austin. And you're yeah. right. I'm sorry. Ap apologies, like apologies, like... apologies. Oh, apologies. we can check. Yeah, yeah fire. okay. It is fire. Yeah, that'll chew through him. That'll chew through him. That'll chew through him. You're right. He's definitely not gonna leap over our front line and stab Penguin to death. She knew the rest. Oh, she critted. Yeah, look at her. All right. Whew. A lot of damage, but she we're gonna do fine. With seven, though, right? Yeah, she, she did. Her crit was not. What about Listen, it? Listen, right? twenty is a twenty. A twenty you is know, a twenty. You, you roll that, you gotta just enjoy the, exactly. the fruits of your, like, your fruits of your success. That's I guess not right. really labor; it's luck. <laughs> <laughs> Stork might go down here. No, we got it. We got it. We oh, got never it. Never mind. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it wakes it's, up it's when it's fine. It gets hit, but it but... wakes up, but it still lost its turn on this turn. Yeah. Know? And it takes yeah. extra so damage, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is this. Yeah. Is no, I'm just done. Cool. That first miss yeah. did make me gasp for a second, though. <laughs> There we go. If it if it Evo moment whatever oh, you, if it God. like Justin Wong <laughs> you, that would have been crazy. <laughs> Let's go, Justin. <laughs> oh, we, we a little extra TP, yeah, exactly. All right, let's get out of here. Or let's I go check the, the with the get the guard again. Is with what we guard. should do. Yeah. Oh my God, we are so low on TP. I know I have that Amarita, but like, you could run. No, we have we have limits. We should be fine. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. What's this one do? I yeah, don't think these guys up. are even going to be that much of a problem. No, I think that you're right. And we'll level off of this probably, you know? Hopefully. Oof, we don't have any MP left on him. Uh, what's what's her limit? Wait, does she not have? A oh, right charge tactic, right? Uh, we should be fine once we're out of this room, because then we're not going to be in the areas where the Link spawns. Yes, yes. Um, because that's really like the durians having physical resistance makes them a little more annoying, but yeah, not really but more of a not threat. Really deadly, yeah, generally speaking. But with Fulmar out of PP, it is gonna be yes, exactly. Yeah, we yeah. can take those all day. There it is. I missed Evo this year. I basically Chat. did too. Yeah. Yeah. There's some busy. levels. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Skills. Strike. Where did we put that? We, did we put another one in Knife Mastery or did we put one in? Yeah, we could do Mr. Calm now if you want. I know we were you were looking at that. I was, but, but you know, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do love to I reduce thinking, TP cost. I keep thinking y'all are saying Mr. Calm. Mr. Calm. Like Dr. Calm. We can make him Mr. Calm. We can make him Mr. Calm. We can lift him up to become Mr. Calm. You're thinking about Mr. Calm. It's true. I, well, I definitely don't want to put one into daggers at this point, Nimpo daggers, because it'll raise the TP cost, which is the opposite of yeah. what I want right now. Um, yeah, I would say Mystic Calm. I would say Knife Mastery. Mr. Calm, maybe. You really enunciated it that time. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, concealment, ne never bad. Um, yeah, let's, let's, you know what? Now we kind of have to do this one. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Calm. Mr. Calm. Mr. Calm's here. Uh, and then Stork. We... They ironically call Shrike when he get, starts getting annoyed. <laughs> All right, yeah. Mr. Calm. All right, Mr. Calm. We're, we're just going on a boat. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're going to be fine. Calm down. Smash cut to him barfing off the edge of the, <laughs> the ship. Yes. Uh... Never bad to have a something like shrug off. We're so early still that I'm like, 
we just dump into Guardian? Should we get a point into Spear Mastery to start raising some damage? But like mostly what he does is is line guard, you know? Yeah. So um my yeah, I think is Shield Mastery over. I think line Shield guard? Mastery or Guardian might actually be them. Because line guard line guard's useful, but it also means he's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, it's true. Um and so like having him oh, yeah let's do shield mastery because we, we're gonna yeah. want to get access to these these elemental, elemental ones. walls um yeah. by the time we get up against some some harder fights uh and then bluefoot who what did we do last time did we, we just put one more in lights out which, which I think we put out one more in the us. lights out yeah um we could we could think about getting her a gun at some point can she wield both at the same time or does she have to i don't know chat's gonna need to help us yeah. out with that one well because if we're lean if we're okay she can't she so can. if we're building rapiers maybe yeah. we uh, wait for that yeah i think um, we go just eventually in. we need points in it to get to swashbuckling, to swashbuckling which is so good normal yeah. hex may strike multiple times is great um though i think i thought i saw something else here that could do that but maybe i'm wrong uh yeah maybe i'm wrong Unless it was. No. Let's do, um... I do like the idea of, of Lady Luck for her, since we're so heavy on her, just swinging yeah. the damn sword. But maybe that shit Crit rate's never we... bad. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, let's make her a crit demon. Yeah. Because, like, that'll... If we do eventually put points in the gun mastery, that's not just crit You're rate right. with swords. You're right. You're right. All right, Mr. Guard. All right, Mr. Call. All right, Mr. Fish. It was more like 15 seconds. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Garrulous Monolith says, one time Shrike was like, I am calm. I'm Mr. Calm. And they never let him <laughs> live yeah, it down. Yeah, that is exactly how it happened. Oh, and then he, Mr. Calm hit for 51 damage that fight, by the Damn. way. Damn. All right, Mr. Calm. Mr. Calm's good. Yeah. The guard's previously stern countenance lightened oh, yeah. upon examining your work. Outstanding. You've done a simply wonderful job here. His expression utterly transformed. The guard showers you with a few of praise. Go now hence to the Sonatus and report oh, to them your morning. success to claim your reward. Thanks, bud. Oh, wrong oh, way. Sources. Fuck. This way. We know where we're going, Mr. Guard. We know where we we're going, Mr. Guard. We can remove the X now. Yeah, well, let's 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 turn it in. No, I once we turn it in, don't we can, think yeah. we can go that way until we turn it in. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. Uh, before we turn it in, let's go sell all of our stuff. <laughs> This song we got. Oh, those. frog cheek. Yeah, we only got one frog cheek. We needed more. Yeah, do it. It might be one of those that you need to Ooh. kill in a certain way to make it. Oh, you're more. totally right. Totally possible. Uh, Tetsukiyari. We can learn tent. We got intelli intellect book. What's that Tetsukiyari? That seems like a new dagger, maybe? Whoops, no, 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 no. Small, small spear. Oh, a small spear. So that would be for um, Stork. That would be for Stork. Yeah. Uh, who's currently on a dagger that only does... Dagger. Oh my god, look at the damage. Yeah, down. like, we need to get him something. We do, but, oh, like... wow, holy shit. I don't want to spend all the money we have on a weapon for the guy. got a short spear, then. But, like, something to buff You're him right. over, like, over 38. Or... He's at 24. Yeah, actually, wait, is like he even... Yeah, are... he is about to open up uh, a lot of new avenues for making money, right? Having... This is true. Well, let's, let's before we go back... We might get in, money from the quest. That's too. exactly. I was like, let's go turn in our results. I'll just listen to this for a second. Undertale ass tune. I know. <laughs> uh, Keith in the chat says, why did the shop girl look like she's about to rip you off? Oh yeah, you guys get the adventurer's discount. I think she's like a fan favorite is for exactly that reason. Yeah. Kind of her vibe, yeah. Ooh. Good sting. Good sting. Word has reached me of your success. Oh wait, you were, were you this lady? Word has reached me of your success in completing the map. <laughs> You've proven your metal as explorer strong enough to challenge the labyrinth. I'll authorize the sale well, of items at Napier's firm, which you may find necessary in your travel. Real protectionist economy here in Armor Road. I didn't know the fucking Senate had to approve us buying. I have an iron grip on everything. <laughs> okay. Nothing goes through Armor Road without my say. Well, imagine if you went to the CVS and you were like, I really need anti-bleeding bandages. I really need antidotes. And they're like, no, the queen didn't say, or the, the senator didn't say. <laughs> First, you have to bring the location. Now, this to me. is the juice. This is what I wanted. 
I'll oh. send word to the pier that guild seabirds requires a worthy, a seaworthy vessel. This is why Bluefoot joined the crew. That's she needs right. A ship back. She needs a ship back. Her ship got damaged or something. Yeah. That should allow you to set out on voyages whenever the seafaring urge may strike. Oh, please be done. This is hurting my voice. <laughs> Train yourself in battle on the open seas and gain power enough to someday grant my wish. Okay, weird. And 500 bucks. His wish. There you go. Ooh, lots of XP oh, here. Great from everyone. Sorry to, to wow. Albatross, you didn't get any of that, huh? Yeah, we gotta we gotta get that princess back in the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the field for sure. All right, so what's Napier's now have? It might be Ariadne thread. That, oh, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, let's see. You've successfully completed the Sonatus's orders. I received their notification. You see, there's one item that may only be sold to explorers authorized by the Sonatus. It's called an Ariadne thread. Nailed it. You did. When you're lost or wounded, use it to be teleported back to Armor Road. You should always have one with you and in the labyrinth from this point on. Stare at it all you want, though. I do not give them out for free. There's no percentage in that. I'm sure you understand. Adventurer's discount. Adventurer's discount. Let's get one right now. It is the right call to do. Um, fucked up that we don't have one already. Jack, this is an escape. This just lets you get back to right. town instantly, no matter how deep into the thing you are. And uh, how much are they? A hundred uh, and... How much money do we have? 646 now. Ooh, okay. So yeah. they're not super cheap. They are not super we cheap. Yeah. We should get Stork a weapon We now. should get Stork a weapon. Let's get Stork a weapon. Uh, it doesn't have to be the Tatsukiari, but the, like, both I mean, of them are a huge jump. I, you know, I kind of feel like let's go for the big jump. Because it's also, also a vitality jump and a defense jump. Exactly. Yeah. And then, like, that's the jump that we give him for now. And then, like, we can kind of sit on that for a minute. We have the money right TP now. as well. Damn. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it... Maybe. No, th I think that number was just yellow before. Gotcha. I thought... Because the other up numbers, they turn yellow. Wait, I need to change another thing about these controls, which is... Let's see if I can do that from here. Uh, which is... I bet what? Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Confirm tool two cannot be this slash what all the, the way over fuck? here. It, it can be. I'm happy to have it be uh, B or something, but not that slash. Just halfway across the damn thing. Okay. Let's see if that actually did change this here. By armor. Yeah, it did. Much better. Oh, okay. Now I can move around in here. Can he not wear scale? I guess, I guess not. not. Wild. Okay. And we just don't have any heavy armor. Um, he already has a buckler. He already has a straw hat. Okay. Um, do we... Oh, first of all, let's go to the bistro. <laughs> ah, hellos to you. You're the Seabirds <laughs> Guild, yes? God, I've heard from the Sonatus. I need to make sure I'm not peeking. You're Here fine. at the Butterfly Bistro, <laughs> you can talk to people and take on side jobs called requests. Pay them. There are all kinds of different jobs, from monster hunts to item collecting. If you accept a request and complete the mission, report back to me. When you do, I will then give you the reward that the client gives me when they put it up. She's sort of talking way normal. She's way more normal. normal. She's like, this is actually a tutorial. Shit, I gotta get this right. Yeah. <laughs> Doing these requests might make you some easy cash. I'll keep getting more and more requests as time goes on. So come back here lots, okay? That's pretty much it. Do you want to be taking on one of the requests right away? I yeah. sure do. All right, new menu. Oh, we got three tents for it. We do. Three frogs for three tents, a classic trade. That request, eh? Oh yes, do try that one. It is most decidedly easy. I am wanting to make a new menu item here at my bar and I am needing ingredients. What is required is one frog cheek and three slimy legs. Oh, we did just sell those, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is easy. I'm getting producer notes from Keith in the Discord. <laughs> wow. Hey, Sylvie, you need to turn your game down a little. Damn, <laughs> I can bring it. I can bring Sylvie down. Nah, it's good. You got it? I, I, I'm trying to move back on the mic. Okay. But I also turned myself down a little. I can be counting upon it. I, the problem is this voice this is also voice is like so, David Lynch uh, in Twin Peaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. There yeah, I know, Keith, but I'm just getting a ping every two minutes. and It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm trying like, to be yeah. subtle. Yeah, I appreciate the subtle. Only two. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> What's the other question? Can oh, we take sorry. Multiple we take ones? Yeah, we sure can. One time? The Fisherman's Rest. Jack, do you want to oh, oh. be this fisherman? 
Oh. Oh, oh, Fisherman is gone now. Well, no, You're accepting this request. Yes. Oh, I guess, yeah, it it's from easy. her. Yeah, it was perfect weird. for you. The client is Bill, an apprentice fisherman who is known for being a lazy oaf. He says he is wanting a safe place to sunbathe. I bet he is looking for a nap spot. We Same. know where that is. Oh, we You do. may be finding such a perfect spot somewhere on B1F, yes? Oh, You find a good place for him and let me know, yes? That will be the end of this. You'll be running along now, adventurers. I can be counting on you. You can be counting on us. This is easy. Do we have to go? Here's a question. Are we going to just do it here? No, that's an abandoned. I bet he's no. just in these in here. Uh, yeah, are we. Sorry, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to talk to her. I meant to talk to. Here we go, tanned fisherman. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Sometimes it's like there's just a person in in the bar that you can yeah. report back to. Let's leave and come back in and see if it's. You might. Do we have to revisit it? Do you think? We might have no. to revisit Fisherman's Rest. Maybe we go and yeah. when we had that text that was like, this would be a perfect spot to that's rest. That's what I'm saying. A prompt that's like, yeah. tell the fisherman. Yeah, someone says, you, I think you do have to revisit. We can swing by there pretty quickly after we rest. Um, yeah, I think some of our shortcuts will help us. Yeah, out totally. Uh, what if we stay? We let's, let's recover really quick. 20 end. Fuck off. And let's bring uh, Albatross in to get yeah. some levels up. And let's keep... Yeah, the... um, Let's let's keep. Who do we who would we leave behind if we want to bring back out? I would really love. To we could leave one of the frontliners because they could. have a surplus of XP they comparatively. Do. You're right. Um, You're right. So either Bluefoot or yeah. Shrike would be my recommendation, yeah. just so we still have the tank. Let's yeah. Let's keep Stork. Let's keep Bluefoot, whose damage is just so useful. Let's do Albatross and Penguin and Fulmar. Wait, this is... This the is... color work in this game is just It's amazing. unbelievable. It really Mr. is. Mr. Calm needs to go chill out. Mr. Calm. <laughs> Take a break, Mr. Calm. Stop calling me that! Uh, He's my favorite of all of our characters. I hope that's obvious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so funny. All right. Uh, and then let's make sure, just really quick, there's nothing else here, right? No, okay. Um... All right, let's head back in. Let's grab this really quick. Great. Uh, and then I'd love to this, peek we... into the. I'd love to the peek at the wing. the yeah the boat stuff is what I'd really love to do too. Oh yeah, the boat stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could probably. I guess we could do this first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it? Yeah. Um. Is there not a way for me to oh, check did these we notes mark here? It? We did, but what I'm struggling with is. In in the past, I've always been able to read these from here if I like from the rather on them. than having to go over rather than having to go over. Oh, there it is, camping spot and TP. Yeah, so I think it's this one. I think it's this north. Yeah, one. I think so. Camping yeah, spot, sure. yeah, yeah, the one that we thought was a camping spot. I do think the quickest way is still like the regular way. Right, that is another thing about like when we were like, oh, there's just that little corner that wasn't anything. Yeah, that might end up being a changes, spot for a right? class. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, frogs. Two frogs. Oh, we want to fight frogs, actually. We do want to fight frogs, actually. You're right. <laughs> Give us your cheeks. Give us your cheeks. Let's attack order on the front. Let's attack order the back line. What do we want, actually, here? I guess we do want to attack order the front line three turns. Yeah. We do. Just to balance out the fact that we're going to have yeah. reduced damage this yeah, round. That's true. Right, and that's a heal. I forgot. You know what? Yeah, Let's... don't. On her orders heal, I think that they is do. how it works. They do heal, which means that we can actually kind of go a little more all out because she can keep us healed up. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. She's great. I do. I do realize now that if we keep Penguin in the party for the XP boost all the time, she will end up being our highest level character. You were 100. percent Her and Stork probably together, right? Yeah, I feel like Stork is always gonna be in the party just. Unless we end up like, you know, True. adding more and adding a gladiator yeah. or something. Yeah. Um. Cause I know gladiator and buccaneer can do some cool like tag team Ooh, stuff. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um. I I want to check something. Did we? Oh, it's wrong person. Or quickly heal up albatross to max, because do we? Did we get the thing for albatross that was like? Uh, also, we might need to re-equip the limit. Actually, huh? Uh, yeah. Yes. Charge tactic here. Oh, boy. Right. Who's our other cross slasher? I... Um... Now. Oh. 
Oh, this is the because it can't be penguin. I would I mean, put it, it on. Be, I would put it on. You think Albatross is the other damage dealer here? Or, like, unless we want to take Indomitable off. We could, take, we could off, put Indomitable. Off that's what I think we should do. I think we should put Indomitable on Albatross since she okay. can heal. And that way she can, like, you know, and then cross slash on Stork and Bluefoot and charge tactic on Penguin and Fulmar. Fuck, I didn't hit confirm. God damn it. Yeah, that's video games. Yeah. Can I not pull it off of him? Yes, I can. I have to click it. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I fucked that up. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Charge tactic there, and cross slash there. Confirm, yes. Okay, then, the thing I was gonna check was, did we not get that thing that's like, um... We may not have, I may be thinking of... Okay, so if, yes, if her HP is maxed at the end of the turn, everybody heals. So that's the other yeah. thing, right? Um, and the thing I was thinking of was on my game of untold two or two untold uh i got this monarch's march which is so good it's way easier to get in that which is just every step you go you heal <laughs> yeah um might be worth mentioning from surfer emoji that charge tactic counts as one of her orders so oh heal. that is great to know inspect as you proceed through the forest, you find a dead end where the sun shines brightly. You suddenly recall the request you accepted about finding yes. a place to sunbathe safely. Since you sense there are no monsters nearby, this would be a perfect place for sunbathing. You can return to the this bar dude's and to... your findings whenever you feel like it. Uh-huh. Drink so many Miller Lights out here. <laughs> I gotta tell you, there are monsters out here. This is orange. It's not red. No, he'll be fine. Okay. Let's go chop. Listen, <laughs> you, he just there, like... asked you to find the spot. You're right. He didn't make, ask right. you to make it safe. You're totally right. 100%. Sad loss of lazy oaf fisherman as he was <laughs> killed in dungeon. <laughs> Man oh, found devoured by frogs. <laughs> <laughs> there were um, there are these frogs that sing in my backyard at night or chirp or I guess whatever frogs do. Um, and because they only come out at night, I've never really seen any of them. But I want to see them before I move away. Sure. Um, so I was Googling, I found myself Googling things like how find frog in the dark. <laughs> like, <laughs> find frog dark. Um, and uh, it's one of those things where you look down at your Google search and you're like, yep, this is, this is what I'm asking here at this moment. Incredible. Uh -huh. All right, so if we don't want, so we do want charge tactic to be then on Albatross, like you said, then let's give cross slash to Let's give cross slash to Fulmar and Bluefoot, I guess. It's fine. What fuck? I keep backing out instead of hitting accept. Ugh. It's an annoying interface sometimes. Uh, we do need to clear that. Come on, let me clear this off, please. Charge tactic it is on. Uh, Hot Spike says, did you find Frog? Uh, no, I was only doing research. Yesterday was a uh, research, research session, day not for activity sure, sure, day. Sure. Yeah. Frentinari says, is the answer not to use a flashlight? It, it, it does really boil down to that. Oh. Um, but uh, apparently Frog's eyes reflect uh, flashlight beams, so you can see these little tiny points of light. Oh, sure. Um, but I also need to find where to shine the flashlight, you know? Right. Rose Matter Glasses says, they gather on my windows at night because lamps at night attract Whoa. moths. So that's sick. That, of course, that makes perfect sense. Kill this guy. I'm gonna save her TP because I'm burning through it. Yep, yeah, let's just auto. There we go. There we go. Keep getting that XP. Albatross will be caught up in no time. And we can peek into the other side of this dungeon now. Just a little peek, you know? Well, let's poke our heads in. Yeah. Before also, we, we should think Salem about trip. our, um, how many, what do we need? We need one frog cheek and then three slimy us? legs. Is that what I think you can check in your menu. I think oh. your quest will be in your book. Oh, that'd be great. Quest. Book. Yes. Let's so we've done this one, but we've not yet gotten yep. one frog cheek and three slimy legs. Let's see what we have right now. It'll uh, be in a valuables. Oh, it will be in valuables. You're right. Oh, will it? Will it? Or, no, it won't. Never mind. Will it be in... Have we not gotten any? Yeah. Oh, it, we just haven't gotten any drops. We've gotten no drops. Jesus. Jesus. 
All right, no more. Oh, here we go. As before, you find some guard. Find a guard below some trees off to the to one side of the path. When he notices your approach, he hails you with a cheerful expression. This guy fucking loves us. Yeah, now. major board of the Sonatas, have you? That means you got the right to go on ahead from here. In honor of your accomplishment, <laughs> I'd love for you to have this. The guard pulls a small metallic hammer from a bag hanging from his waist and offers it to you. It's a forging hammer. Enhancing one's weapons is a common practice for explorers in Armor Road. If you seriously intend to explore the labyrinth, you should consider doing the same. The guard fi finishes by giving you not one, but three heavy hammers, yeah, which you gracefully hammers. accept. Listen to Straight up, this dude is doing you a huge solid. Oh, I fucking, yeah, absolutely. This one, that's a flash hammer. Uh, it's pretty cool. You guys read the flash? He is like, he's like really fast. <laughs> I like Barry Allen, but uh, I know that's a rare, a rare opinion. You kind may, of a hot take. Kind of a hot know. take. You may forge at Napier's firm. <laughs> if you possess hammers, you may forge to confer the innate effects of a hammer onto a weapon to strengthen it. When you get a yep. chance, bring your hammers to Napier's firm and try the process out. After the guard has given his gift, he calmly points out the path and moves out of the way. You may proceed a pace or what? return to town. This is what the uh, empty squares on certain equipment are. Those are slots. Oh, you love that. Love that. Them, yeah. Love that. Okay. They will probably tutorialize you that too, but I like beating them to it. Whoops, 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 <laughs> whoops, whoops. I uh, did not mean to do the thing I just did. Where's my eraser? There it is. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab. Nope, let's grab. Can we grab this? Boop, there we go. All right. Ooh, new area. I feel like the music like knew it too. Yeah. Ooh, whoa, look at that door. Look at that door. What is that? Just checking these walls. I knew there'd be something here. Small crack in the wall. Love to Love have that. that. Let's head back over. Drop new giveaway. In. Enter to wing. Penguin gifted a oh. new Ducart branded shopping tote to the chat. Thank you. And Oof. there's a strawberry and a penguin emoji in the name. Oh. I like this little war between our <laughs> uh, <laughs> characters. Penguin is back this. home and Penguin is giving away uh, yeah. goodies. <laughs> Don't forget about me. Is Just, Penguin uh... back home? Penguin's not back home. Oh, no. Penguin's with you. You're right. Penguin's here. Right back home. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is a, a tote bag, bag. Uh, designed by Lyle Lewis with art direction by Janine. It is so cool. It's so um, cool. I, this, is, this is my go-to tote uh, and has replaced a Lyle Lewis tote that I got like a decade ago. Damn. <laughs> it's, just, it's, you know, it's still the test of time, but now I'm, I'm, I'm representing to cuts. Love it. Um, and in case you are curious, um, the way that... Uh, people are, are doing these giveaways is by going to friendsatthetable.shop and since we are live on Twitch each product has a gift to Twitch chat feature turned on um, our uh, platform fourth walls um, Twitch integration is, is super cool as you are able to see uh, now that party members are gifting things in chat <laughs> we don't need all that we don't need all that we just probably stab this guy to death now yeah. It's like, uh, you know when they sometimes have sheep hanging out with donkeys? Yeah. That's the durian and mm -hmm. the two frogs. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I do. There's a level for albatross, and we got a slimy leg. No cheese. Hey. <laughs> Do the slimy leg. Do the slimy the leg. Hit. Do the slimy yeah. leg. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, let's heal up with penguins, bandages, please. Let's get albatross capped. Let's give a little bit to everybody else. HP, not for two TP, not a bad It's not grade. too bad, yeah. Put in work. Nothing here, nothing here. Oh, what was that? There's something. Here we go. It's probably a collection point. Oh, we're too exhausted to chop more because we already chopped twice, I guess. Did we put all the to anything? chop? Oh, you're right. Good question. This isn't necessarily related to the chopping, but it could oh, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, we, we don't have, have to do it that. yet. Let's not. Let's let's. It's fine. You know, we're just going to probably get more. It's so easy to get back to this point. You know what I mean? Like I could yeah. do a run to come get stuff from that point off stream. We have to especially with the shortcuts now, too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. All right. So we have our guard order. We have our attack order. Um, we have reinforced one, which heals. Um, we have Royal Veil one. I kind of would love to keep her going down this heal path, but 
but yeah to eventually get monarch march to get monarch march and even triumphant cry is so good you know yeah um yeah let's do it let's keep going down royal vale easy did anybody else level there uh i don't, I don't think, think so right mm. everyone else oh uh four. penguin oh, penguin or no albert Wait, oh, who Fulmar, Fulmar back at home. We just never gave Fulmar something here. Right, we should get Fulmar, the Ice Up, and then Ice Star. Right? We should probably. Get our, we should get coverage. Just to get all three. Yeah. That'll be big for like dealing with yeah. um, resistances later on. Exactly. I put the trap point down. I did. That's all right. Oh, oh. We're Speaking fine. of, we're fine. We're fine. Let's yeah. let's let's provo let's provoke. Uh, you're only drawing the one attack, right? Is it just the, it's just the, that one round? Well, it's the link. No, you're drawing oh, it for three oh, oh, turns. I see what you're saying. Just, yeah, you're yeah, only yeah. getting attacked by one enemy. Yeah, exactly. So like yes, yes. And then what I will do is I will also... Um, I will guard order up front instead of attack order. Just, nice. just in case. And I will just attack and Let's save attack with Penguin's power. HP. Or TP, rather. Damn! Penguin said, I'm out here. I'm out here to crit. Got good Ooh, luck. That provoke did wow. not come in quick enough. Yeah. Well, next turn, next though. Next turn. Next turn. And there's that seven at the end of the turn. That's so huge. That is a huge difference. It's a huge difference. And now we can line guard. And now we can lights out. Or we can continue to fire star. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I have a question, Austin, about how you usually play those games. Sure. Are you usually a front row heavy person or back row? I'm normally person? a three two, never a two three. Yeah. This is I'm this never is this giving lineup. me like anxiety. Yeah, yeah. A little yeah. Bit, I'm glad I'm not alone. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it's not heavy anxiety, you know, but it's it is. It's something. And I love it. Alright, there we go. I would love to not have to Ariadne's thread out of here, so let's just bounce. I know we still have some uh, of this left to, to delve, but Okay. Super String eight 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 asks, should I start uh, with EO one? I don't. I wouldn't necessarily I would not. recommend it. Yeah. I think. I genuinely think three might be the best starting point. Um, that is. Yeah. I think the common. I think the common feeling is, yeah, is of the originals three. Um, people really like uh, Untold two as a starting point. People really like Untold one. I haven't played the Untold point. one. If so I don't you're, know, especially like, if you're, um, it, the big difference is those games have like a traditional story, um, and in that way they're not super like the rest. But like they're, they're not blobbers. They're they're. I mean they are blobbers in gameplay, but in not gameplay, in but not yeah yeah exactly. And so. But in a real way, though, that makes them very approachable for someone who has, like, only played, like, regular JRPGs before. Um, yeah, I like I like five a lot also. Yeah, five is fun. Five has the weird, like, uh, there's fantasy races yeah. now in this. Yeah. And it's literally like one of them is literally called Therion, which like being online means that's really funny <laughs> now. Really funny. All right, let's auto through the rest of this and let's get the fuck out of here. You're right, you can play Untold with a custom party. You're right, you yeah. can just do a custom party mode on them. There's nothing in them innately that says you can't play them like regular That's true, ass. you just have the option Correct. to do the story yeah. mode. Oh wait, what am I doing? I should just hop through wasn't here. It, wasn't it called an Untold one? Like the something about the princess? It is the... Or is that Untold 2? Untold 2 is the something princess. Because okay. it is, it is. There's a sovereign who is a princess who is like the very yeah. similar vibe to what we're doing here. And that was their like way to bring that class into that game. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Untold One is the Millennium Girl. That's right. Yes. Sorry, do either of these have Good a name? Frost, which we don't have quite yet. That's fine. I'm still gonna burn through some stuff here. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I don't love having the the current low TP that we have, but I don't want to burn an Amarita, which is which is the, for Jack and for the chat, Amarita is the TP recovery uh, item, and it's also super expensive. Oh, wow. This is a game Anywhere. that takes that shit very seriously in terms of, you know, Sylvie was not joking before when she said it's good for our economy, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, that was about, about resource gaining, um, but this is a game that thinks about economies in that way, you know? Interesting. And presumably is only going to get more intense the deeper the deeper we go. Absolutely. But also you end up with more tools. I find right. I find that this sort of Etrian arc is opening the opening floor is normally a pretty you know reasonable. 
Uh, and then by the end of the first strata, you're like, oh my God, especially if you've pushed pretty quickly, you're like, oh my God. Scale. Yeah, I, I don't have enough to deal with what I'm dealing with here. And then it kind of, you get the tools to deal with more situations and the difficulty goes from being about uh, individual encounters and like being overwhelmed by any individual fight to being about long-term resource management and then also stage gimmicks like how do i move through this space in a in a way that like right. lets me res reserve my hp or how do i avoid the giant enemies that are chasing me down called foes yeah foes foes yeah exactly. foe is just fun to say it really is fun to say foe uh foe sort of mini bosses yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, well, except that when you first run into them on any floor that you're on, you should not like try to bosses. fight them. They are real bosses. They will kick your ass. Okay. Um, but they, over time, uh, you get that great feeling of like, oh, I'm ready to go fight. Like the thing that happened with the Lynx here, imagine that, except the Lynx is on the map moving around, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we should not and sell. You can, you can see them. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, the hammer stuff. Uh, I'm just going to button through this. Yeah. <laughs> Not for free, of course. Perish the thought. A nominal fee applies, which varies by weapon. Adventurer's discount. Adventurer's discount. Yeah. Uh-huh. Great. All right, we're going to do a little forging here. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, I'm sure she's no stranger to us. forging, but maybe not in this way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, we could put a defense on his Yeah, we sure priority. could. Let's do it. Uh, we only put vitality or blind. Oh, Probably vitality here, right? Of these three yeah. for him. Yeah, I, I I would say so. Just if we want to like max out his yeah, his role. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because his defense is up to forty two now. Yeah, exactly. Nice. All right, cool. Um, I was gonna do is sell stuff that was not our slimy leg, which thankfully they've put a little icon a little. next to us, which is good. Uh, oh, that is good. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll skip that and do these scales. Yeah, that's Bring it. Bring up all of them. Boom. Anything new? Oh, a copus, which is, I think, a sword. And it's green. I believe that's yeah. right, yeah. Which means it's probably for... Oh, a TP up. TP oh, up. Yeah. Love that. Uh, it's not for her. No, she uses she's cutlasses. Only Sovereign, cutlasses, right. Um, Sovereign is it. And Gladiator can use it, but we don't have one. Interesting, okay. And then not ninjas? Ninjas use no. you can, daggers? You can see by the letters. Oh, down right. The bottom. I see, I see, I see. Oh. Right. Ninjas probably use katanas and daggers use, or something. Yeah. yeah they probably, sense. they, yeah. And then, um, yeah, cutlasses for, for buccaneers. That makes sense. Um, yeah, let's do, because she's having TP problems right now, too. Yeah, it bumps it up to 27. Yeah, and then three well, TP. Hey, we can forge it, can't that. we? Sharp tooth. We have a sharp tooth. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, hmm. We could put blind on I it. I kind of like putting blind what on it. What does blind do? Just lower their accuracy? It's a, yeah, it's a low chance of applying blind, which lowers accuracy yeah. like significantly, I believe. Yeah, that's <laughs> another giveaway. This time uh, from this the guard. Oh, from, from the guard. Hey, guys, it's me, the guard. Um, I loved your map. I loved your map so much that I decided to celebrate it by buying a, a, a high run bug riders GL game informer. <laughs> <laughs> GI for the we can't say ass. I'm not. Oh, no, sorry. Funny. The senator, the senators, the sonata says I'm not allowed to say glass because it has the word ass in it. Uh, but I can say it with you because we're just we're just we're just hanging out. It's just us. I should. It's uh, so funny. Loud. I don't know because it's not a person talking. So like I'm not getting the yeah. moderation stuff. I wonder if it's on the fourth wall side. Maybe. Maybe. Like maybe they are making it so that they won't ever say, fourth wall says new giveaway, enter to win. Guard gifted three slurs to the chat. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. If I was them, that's what I'd do. Yeah, let's give, it, let's, let's give this blind effect. That's fun. I don't... Oh, yeah, because Twitch doesn't censor it. It just auto mod it. It would, it would. yeah. Exactly. Like, it, yeah. Unless we had it on a filter list, right? right. Yeah. yeah, I think Weird. that's true. It's very uh, funny. This bug writer's glass uh, was illustrated by Mar Julia, um, and I worked on the art direction for it. It is so cool. The colors on this thing are amazing. Um, and uh, the images on the fourth wall, which already look great, do not do these colors justice. Shout outs to uh, my old boss, Foggy Zombie, <laughs> gifting four <laughs> tier one subs, who I now see Foggy's also DM'd me three times uh, over on Discord. Uh, thank you, Fogey. I really appreciate that. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Fogey. Fogey over on on uh, Discord says, "Is this EO3 stream live? I'm living for it. Play uh, playing the game without your own voices in it isn't going to cut it anymore. I'll internalize them so I can have them in my head. I had no idea you went so hard on EO." And then a heart emoji. Oh, oh, oh. Shout outs to Richard Fogey, a real one. You should check out what Fogey uh, and and another old coworker of mine. Brandon Dillon are doing. Uh, they just started a new uh, studio called Two Weeks, um, which is a uh, a game studio focused on um, really quick turnaround, uh, big big idea explore you know uh, kind of games. Like let's spend a couple of weeks prototyping a thing and getting it running. Oh, that's fascinating. On um, uh, mostly on like Chrome, you know, mostly like hey, this is a web browser game. Let's try out something really cool. Uh, and then and then see where it goes from there. So shout out to Fogey, shout out to Brandon. Uh, I miss working with those guys a ton. We completed that quest. We can tell this fisherman where he can rest. <sighs> Love that sound. It's so good. Is this her? Oh, we'll get some XP for this. Is this ah, you are back and alive too. This is good. <laughs> so you have found a safe place for Bill to sunbathe in. He will be happy safe. to hear it. Is it safe? If he gets fired for napping when he is supposed to be working, it is not my concern. Uh, well, regardless, here is the reward. I look forward to further dealings with you. Uh, congrats to uh, Wireframe Wife, to uh, DJ, uh, DJ Flo, and Mild uh, Cat Art, who all won uh, higher on Bug Riders uh, glasses. Hey. 100 N. Enjoy. Have and XP, including a full Marlo. Oh, we oh. love that. This we love to see. All right, let's level up and let's maybe peek at the port. Go on the boat. Go on the boat. Uh, this is who we want to bring on the boat. Who do we want to bring on the boat? Uh, is Penguin I useful know what, on this, the boat? This, um, I don't know. I think so. I okay. think boats I would are believe it. different enough. Yeah. I like the idea of Shrike being like, I, I can, I, I'm fine sitting out actually. Oh, because I don't it's like okay. the boats. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's true. That's true. Uh, In our lore. Yeah, that is that is true to our lore. Um, all right, let's, let's limit boost to increases the mic age faster. That's pretty useful too. Um, Keith in the chat says, I was drinking raspberry lime Rickies from my oh. Hyron Bug Glass this afternoon. Great glass. Great glass. Which, what I love about all that is it's a sentence I can hear perfectly in Keith's voice. Me too, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yes. 100%. Yeah. Um, love that guy. Let's... Brah. Leveling up is hard. <laughs> Leveling up is so hard. Uh, you know, this is what it is. Is like I'm such an eternal GM that it's like... You know, I haven't had to level you up a character level up. in so in so long. You know, it's like I'm I'm yeah. uh, I'm just not built <laughs> for it. You get the opportunity. Yeah, I have to really think about it. Uh, I, I it's so hard for me to start something like this and be like, well, let's just do let's just put two more in Lady Luck, three in Eagle Eye, and then we can get limit boost. And it's like that's not necessarily what we should focus on. You know, what were you saying? I was just saying that's not how it works. It's not how so, it like, works. Practically, yeah. Like I mean, yeah. It, I always get caught in that too. Yeah, because it's like, um, okay, well, I don't. Is that really what I want to do for the next three, four, five, six levels for her? Instead of like, versus like, if we just maxed out rapier mastery over the next six levels, you know, or whatever, we brought that to nine or brought that up to eight, would that be better for us? And the answer is almost certainly yes, right? And we'd be at that point. I feel like committing to having her being a constant in the. Party yeah, too. you're right. Like, that's you're gonna right. make her our primary, our primary like, DPS. Player. Yeah, um, like Shrike will catch up maybe yeah. when we get like late game because some of those end game those ninja, ninja stats, stats like, yeah. or nin ninja moves are really good. Yeah. But she's gonna be like, yeah. And I think that that's is what I want. So let's put another point in rapier mastery. Let's try to aim for. I think you and I are both really so be really interested in swashbuckling. Yeah, that, which is a little ways like away, but is like fun cool. to start poking towards. Uh, is that it? No, nope, one more penguin. Uh, Harvestry, um, do we want to do? Is that where we, we kind of said? I would say Harvestry, oh, so yeah. She can, she can chop and take and mine. And mine more. better. That seems like one of her big things. I think, what does it lead to, by the way? So, the move oh, here? Harvestry? He knows, he crop, knows which is do? higher chance of finding rare items. That's going to be really useful. Uh, and double crop increases the number of times you can do it. Yeah, these are both really good. Yeah. This is like why people take farmers. The, a lot of yeah. those like big farmer, five person farmer squads end up being about 
going in and getting as many as many uh you know yeah uh, it's like harvest you put three points of earth bounty into one you exactly. put like three points of harvest three into the other like <laughs> at level one gonna go. yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and then you can build more differently as it goes on exactly. but like you, can, you really get like an early xp boost based on it yep <laughs> jack <laughs> Ah, members of Seabirds, this is Inver, Armor Road's largest trade port, or what's left of it. I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. Keep talking. Oh, I can't. I can't see what's There next. we go. When the calamity struck a century ago, the topography changed and commerce ended. Damn, the end of commerce. All it took was a calamity. Damn. Since then, many Which have worked true? to. Mm. <laughs> I know. The pandemic is a portal, <laughs> as Arendetti Roy says. <laughs> Since then, many have worked to reopen trade routes, but nobody can get ships out past these currents. I'm kind of starting to slip into, um, what's the fellow from Shogun called? Black, uh... I still haven't um, watched it. I so badly need to watch it's it. It's great. It's, like, uh, high on my list. That's your resistance to it, because it feels like it feels like people are lying when they tell me it's good. No, it is good. I believe it's it. It's like HBO White Samurai show is so hard <laughs> to, like, take seriously. Yeah, Especially after the White Samurai Throne. show made by Japanese people. I didn't know that. Yeah, that that uh, helps a lot. It does. Yeah. That does a lot. Yeah. Speaking of Japanese people, this soundtrack, fucking Yuzo Koshiro, uh, banger after banger, whole a whole career of the best video game music you've ever heard, some of the best music you've ever heard. Scrimblow in the chat says, "Only the best stream site, Aaron Dati Roy, all day, every day. Every day. Nobody's doing it like us." Well, that's true. Table dot cash. That's true. <laughs> uh, there we go. That's why the senators and I are asking explorers to set sail and create new sea charts. The rewards are handsome indeed. If you can chart a course from here to the north, it'll be worth it. Wow, we're just going. We're going out. Yeah. I've even gotten them to lend you a <laughs> ship. Exclusively for Seabird's use. Got a name in mind? Oh, here we go, folks. Here we go. All right, let me just open up the Google Doc. Yep. This has to be Bluefoot's ship, the right? The terror. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 don't no? go, Austin. We're going to find a route through the north. What's wrong? Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You can't. There's like a that. moratorium on calling ships the terror. We can't do it anymore. Okay, uh, no Erebus. How about Erebus? Is that, is that better? <laughs> Call it the gigantic. <laughs> It fits. We can't call it the gigantic. We can't cross over. What's the third one? What was the other? What, oh, the... there was the. Oh fuck. On the on the mission. Yeah. It oh, the... the ginormous. That was, was the joke not I the made. The ginormous on the on nine nine nine. Yeah. The other replica of the Titanic. Oh, the, was it the Britannic? Was it the Titanic, the Britannic, and the gigantic? I'm 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 being so careful with Google. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you you should. You know what? Let's let's veer off this. No Wait, spoilers. Me, do you not know what happens in 999? I, I there are things I know. I'm on the Wikipedia page for Titanic now. Gotcha. Um, okay. So it's, it's fine. Um, I know certain big things because I remember I finished the sequel and I've like oh, have right, memories right, right. from those. But the the as evidenced by our last stream when something got revealed and I popped off about it, the little details I do not mm. know. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympic and I think the one that I was thinking of. Someone suggested okay. heart spikes. It was the Olympic and Britannic. Yeah, yeah. heart spikes um, uh, suggests the roost here for the ship. Roost is okay. But would I guess I guess it turns out. Bluefoot, it already had bird name, so could be a bird name ship, right? Yeah. Although well, yeah. this ship has been lent to us by. That's true. Well, that's because her last ship was was. But sunk. he's asking oh, us yeah. what we're calling this what ship. We want to, what we want to name it, yeah. not what is it called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can always hand wave that and come with our own lore because that's what we do. Yeah, that's how video games work. I literally do not play video games without making up my own lore for my characters if they, if they don't give me it, you know? Mm. I can't function without it. Zakata, I'm playing Elden Ring and I'm like, how does my character oh, fit yeah. into the world? 100% the same way. Uh, Zutaka says, when you said Erebus, I thought you were going for Book of the New Sun, so we'll buy it. No, I was doing the, the sister ship to the Terror, which is uh, the Erebus. Bad names for ships, I would yeah. say. No spoilers for the terror. I know oh, nothing about it. Please watch the terror, Sylvie. The terror oh, is. Well, here's what I will say, Sylvie. Do you yeah. think it goes well for that boat? Um, <laughs> you know, just judging by the name, 
<laughs> sure, everything's fine. Sure, everything's fine. Yeah. What's They're the having name? a terror terrific time. Surfer Emoji says, what's the name for one of those islands where birds live out at sea? Bird Island. Bird uh, Island. Bird Island. That's a great question. Do they have... Is that a thing? I Islands only for birds. Islands where, where birds live. The rookery. Is that what you said? Uh, That was someone in chat said uh, that, but rookery. I'm looking it up now. Yeah. It's a colony breeding rooks and more broadly a colony of several types of breeding animals, generally gregarious birds. Gregarious Oh, yeah. Birds. Um, coming from the nesting habits of uh, yeah. rooks, the term is used for corvids and the breeding grounds of colony forming seabirds, marine mammals, and even some turtles. I kind of like I the rookery. No yeah. Yeah, I thought it was only for rooks. Yeah. Yeah. We can't fit the rookery, unfortunately. Yeah, but we it's the rookery to us. It's the rookery to us. I'm happy with this. Hell yeah. yeah. Is it spelled right? R-O-K-E-R-Y? Yeah, looks right. Yeah. Boom. Rookery, confirm. Gregarious Rook is a cousin of Aora. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Uh-huh. You're not the first guild we've given a ship to, but most seem to care about the fishing money. <laughs> You're different, though. We'll be counting on you to restore Armor Road's name as the Ocean City. Sure. Bluefoot nodding. Yeah, no, we're definitely 100%. not invested in the money. Not at all. Uh, nope, not for a second. Oh, report discoveries. Oh, talk. Let's talk to more from... Ah, uh, if I recall correctly, you're the novice adventurers from Seabirds, correct? How are you finding the Yggdrasil Labyrinth? <laughs> <laughs> Normal question. Its grandeur and depth is like the greatness of the sea. But remember, you've been tasked with an important mission on these seas. Don't get too preoccupied. Guy who's pissed at us for caring more about the dungeon than the boat. <laughs> it's really good. I shouldn't worry, though. You're young yet. I'm sure you can take on both the labyrinth and the seas. Gen Z's always talking about the world tree instead of the world sea. <laughs> Oh, we need food. Sorry, Jack, I didn't mean yeah. to step on this. Ah, yes, you also need to load food on your ship. Your provisions determine how far you can range. This isn't very tasty, but it'll keep you going. Use it to learn the ropes of charting the sea. Heart Spike says Gen C. <laughs> really good, really good, thank oh, you. Oh, some biscuits. Also, it's a little threadbare, but you should take this flag as well. Oh. It's a good luck token, commonly hoisted by fishermen praying for a big catch. Your objective is to fill in the sea map, but voyages get pretty costly. So I propose a deal. Oh. When you notice fish <laughs> during your voyage. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect delivery. Yeah. Catch and bring them back. That'll bring in a bit of income. Just make sure you keep your eyes on the real prize. Obtained fishing flag. Uh, oh, look at this new Whoa. menu. Welcome. Whoa. Yeah, so this is, um, this gets like blown up into that airship stuff that oh, um, right, right, right. I was talking about earlier. Sure. Yeah, this is like the precursor to that. It's, it's really cool. Like, let's us see more fish schools. Great. Also, hey, look up at the top. Sa sail the seas on the rookery. The, or does it say, or does it does say on the rookery? We, oh, imagine if we had said the something. We'd be so be really embarrassed funny. right now. Yeah. The, the rookery. Mr. Calm on the, the rookery. Yeah, terrible. Terrible. Oh, okay. This, sort of, this is also where the online stuff. There is online happens. stuff. Like this All right. Near like like this was like local DS wireless gotcha, stuff originally. Right. And, like, oh, look at this precursor to Street Pass even because this was original DS. Oh, it was original DS, right? Yeah. Wild. Your duty to chart the boundless ocean, recording its shores and shoals on your map. So I discovered the area around Armor Road to get used to navigating the seas. I have a question. Well, there's Kame House. There's Kame House. It really is. <laughs> Do we need to get back to Armor Road within our 10 turn limit? I think it brings us back, but I might be wrong. Advance, the counter in the upper left shows how many times you can sail forward. Changing the ship direction, a uh, turning, changing the direction of the ship, unseen areas will be visible, but not charted, takes no turns. Charting the sea, areas you can see uh, can be charted just as you would draw the labyrinth map. Fishing, sail over a fish icon for a chance to fish. Fishing requires no turns. 
No, okay, we're good. Let's go get some fish. What do you think? Do some, well, we should do some turns and see if You're there's right. anything interesting around You're right. So this doesn't chart it, but it does. Well, yeah, it doesn't fully chart it. But, like, we can see that this seems like it does another little, like, dip, right? It looks, oh, yeah. it looks like what it does is, like, this to me, you know? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oops, wait, that's not the color I wanted. I wanted green. Uh, let's get that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this music's great. I like the way all the fish are facing different directions. They're moving, I think. Whoa. Let's fish. Seven star, Seven star sardine. sardine. Flying fish one. New trade items. Can we? We can. We can inspect this little house. After boarding your ship and setting sail from Armor Road, you come across a small island. Through your spyglass, you can see marines from Armor Road gathered around, seemingly hard at work. You can disembark here and talk to them or continue oh. on your way. Yeah, let's disembark. Playing fucking sunless. I know. <laughs> you disembark, but the marines are too busy with their own tasks to notice you. You decide against pestering them and return oh. to your ship. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, a that's mission gotta be later. embarrassing. It's gotta be a mission later. You're right. Fish. Also, gotta be embarrassing. Flying fish. Yeah, definitely embarrassing. Definitely feeling embarrassed. I'm Captain Bluefoot of the Rookery. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. On the high, on the high seas, as always, you came across an unusual landmark while bearing the west. The giant lighthouse to the west of the Armor Road towers over the surrounding seas. The lighthouse has stood there for ages, its majestic bearing always visible. You may visit the lighthouse or simply go on your way. Well, it's far away from us, so I don't think we can go there right now. How many more moves do we have? One. Oh, okay. So we should probably go there instead, huh? The place yeah. we can reach? Yeah. Which I should add a little island to. There we go. You discover a small. Oh no! Wait, Austin. Austin, What's sorry. That? That's it. You put a palm tree on the map. That's a little deciduous tree. Okay, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. Thank you. Kind of a cartographer. Not a great one, I guess. <laughs> I was distracted by the weird star-shaped leaves because those are not traditional deciduous. Look at them. They're weird. Yeah, I, they're cool. No, yeah. I bet I there's a creature or something in that tree. Well, we're gonna find out. out. You discover a small island. deserted island. It is. Just there's uh, pow pow fruit on there for sure. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh, uh, deserted island just ahead of your position north of the Armor Road. You mark the island on your map and attempt to set, set sail. When the trees suddenly sway, something may be nearby. You wonder if you should oh stop boy. to investigate and continue sailing. We gotta disembark. Come across we a saved, right? We did not. Oh, uh, yeah, we slept, I think, okay. which saves, yes. A uh, sheep with brown wool and spiral horns. From the rear Ooh. of the flock, you hear an unexpected voice of a man. This here is an island of wild Armor Road sheep. You came by boat, didn't you? An old man emerges from behind the flock. It seems he lives on this island as a shepherd. He explains that the sheep's pen has been deteriorated and he needs good cedar wood to fix it. The old man asks if you can bring back some Armor Road cedar found west of the Ocean City. You make note of his request in his logbook that you can't even be sure when you'll get to it. Fucking now, we're gonna get him some cedar. Needs cedar wood. The cedar needer. This, thank you. The yeah, cedar. Whoop, cedar needer. Thank you. Yeah. Confirm. That's his canonical name. That's his canonical name. Now let's draw a little island. There we go. And really, we could kind of fill in the sea here, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we can see that it is the sea. I hadn't really thought about that. That's so true. There's the cedar needer. Okay, so now what happens? You're out of provisions, return to town. Yes, okay. Yeah. It looks like your investigation is going well. I'd expect no less from you guys. Have you heard of the Scandalia? <laughs> Have you heard of the Scandalia Lighthouse? Before the calamity, it was a beacon of commerce. But ever since, its light has been extinguished by a bird monster oh. nesting there that attacks ships. <laughs> So, not only are sailors forced to go without its light, we can't even get close enough to repair it. Mm. But maybe it has a blind spot, so to speak. Would you guys be <laughs> capable of finding a safe route there? The marines on a small island to the north have a stock of dried <laughs> peas they could share with you. Uh, not... Uh, what's the rel... What's, the, what's the relevance? Ah, I see. <laughs> with those, you could sail further. If you can get to the beacon, we can dispatch combat engineers. This is a crucial part of restoring Armor Road. I wish you the greatest success. 
the marine goods acquired on this voyage are Flying Fish, 4, acquired 36N. Seven Star Sardine, 4, acquired 20N. Five bucks for seven stars? It's, you know, it's Ugh. a hard economy. What are they saying? The calamity came in. Is? Uh, oh, okay. That's epic like glossary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> No, we did get to report yeah. these oh, okay, at least. Cool. Seven Star Sardine, a small fish with seven dots on it. Oh, uh, that's why it's fish, called that. A winged fish that lays its eggs on the beach. Sure. And we discovered What's some biscuits. end to Jenny conversion rate? I don't want to think about that. That's bad, yeah. <laughs> I can't handle that. I can't. I mean, I feel like we should go get... Peas. Go get peas? Yeah, let's go get some peas. Now, do we want to get cedar? Well, where do we get cedar from, actually? Head to the west of Armor Road. So, so we would set sail and then head west. Right, would be that makes sense. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the peas are going to let us go further, right? That's true. We go get some peas. Let's go get some peas. Does it easy. cost anything? Does it cost 10 to, to do yes, this? Okay. So as long as we're doing some fishing, we can make up for that if we happen around some fish. Though it looks like we are not going to this time because it looks like there's just those fish over there. Oh, there's, some, there's some fish over there. We're not going to yeah. get there, though, because we're going to go up to these marines and see what they want, probably, in exchange for... Oh... <laughs> We can cover the cost of our sailing if we catch some fish. Is Austin discovering, like, the history of Naples? Oh, travel? yeah, of course. Of course. A seaman who had watched you disembark addresses you. Well, I'm not doing this one, Jack. <laughs> Oi, what brings you to this tiny island? I, I make dried peas here as channel <laughs> for the Marines. <laughs> Ringo? Is that you? <laughs> you explain that you need dried peas to reach the lighthouse. Really now? Well, if that's the case, I'm more than willing to share some with you. I love that you went more liver puddly in with yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. They're long-lasting in the hold and the stomach. Marines and labyrinth guards <laughs> both love them. They ought to come in handy if you're out to explore the sea lanes. Jack, they should put you in a thumbs up. They game. should. You thank the seaman for his dried peas and return to your ship. Obtain dried peas. All right, well, drive peas. let's go a different direction. We only have three moves, so... I know, which is like, where are we going? We can't go this way. I guess we don't really have anywhere new to go, huh? We didn't get the cedar for this guy, unfortunately. No, but now we have a thing for future boat get... runs. What's going on up here? We're not going to get there, but look, there's all this other stuff up Whoa. here. Whoa. Ooh, and look at that. Look at that current. Oh, oh, wow. So you can move around faster. I bet. I bet if we go in that, we get like... Yeah. You get with it, yeah. By the way. I wish I was a little bit better at judging like tile. Right. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I suspect those little ways. I think that's like, three one, one, spots, one, one. or do you think that's no, four no, no, spots? No, no, no. Like, how far away do you think? Yeah, that's one. But sorry, but my point being, do you think this is one? Then this is two. Then this is three. Or do you think it's one, two, three? Can you see my mouse cursor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, mouse cursor. Mouse cursor. Okay. I, I, I think it's six away. Yeah. Oh, they're saying uh, you got robo -y, but that's weird because you didn't for me. This oh, hasn't happened while I'm going to be more aware with me. I'm going to... Oh, apparently it's everybody. Oh, it's everybody everyone. but Austin. I wonder, I wonder if this is Discord audio <laughs> capture. Maybe. It might be. Because that's exactly what happened with me, too. Uh, that makes sense. What normally happens? You just get better? Uh, I stopped, stopped using Discord audio capture. I'm using thing. it. Okay, well then. Let's do. All right. Hi. Hello. Hello. Are we is robots? Better? Is this better? Beep boop. Beep boop. How are we doing? All right. Yeah. yeah. So we're back on desktop audio capture, which has the pluses and minuses. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, good to know. Good to know that that's a quick fix at the very least. This... Yeah. Like, I don't know a proper fix for it. Right. But right. In the middle of a stream is helpful. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I feel like this is one, two, three, four before we get to that island, you know? But maybe I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah, it's four, really hard to four judge. Or five. Yeah. It's not super important. We know that this is out here somewhere. You know, we can put a little marker and see if we can get back to it uh, eventually. I'm going to say that that's like there and that these are like 
Oh, I can't even put stuff there yet. They're uh, on the far. They're on the far end. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, but I do think that this is like a two-step one, maybe. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And then this is. I think this is six away. Give that six away. No one way. Because look, that's one, two. The... Look at the look on the left side. Look how big those big green spaces are. Those like weird swampy spaces. But I, so I think we have one thing, and then one of the water texture, and then another one, and then another of the water texture. Uh, maybe. And then an empty, and then a waves. Yeah, he might be right. I'm just gonna put this set as far over that way as we can. Yeah, as, as we're able to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yes, let's return to town. We didn't make any money that time, but that's fine, because we got the peas, and now yeah. we can switch from biscuits to peas. It costs twice as much. Wow. It costs twice as turns. much. We get two more. Yeah. Oof, that's that's brutal, but I get it. It's kind of an exponential increase in a, in a way. Uh, not an increase in... Like, I get why having that is so important. All right, so we're going west to get the cedar? Get cedar, I think, yeah. Is that going to be, like, west and then, like, onto the island, do we think? I don't know. This... Is this the... That hmm. lighthouse seems to be working. Yeah, so is this a different... That is the lighthouse, I think, still, though. I is think it? it's just... I'm pretty sure it's the one he told you about. You, I don't think... I think if you go there, you're not going to get, like, immediately attacked. Okay, well, let's peek at it. A shadow jumps to the top of the lighthouse. Well, never her. mind. My so bad. There's a monstrous bird that claimed this territory as its own. The monstrous bird flies past you, causing a strong gale before turning its talons on you. It destroyed our ship. It Holy destroyed shit. our ship. It destroyed I'm our so ship. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Lessons learned. Well, we didn't die. We just burned through 20... Dried peat, you're 20, 20 N. 20 N. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, the golden fish are worth more. Should uh, we go get good. that golden fish? You try to get I back would some, do it, yeah. some money? They're, or they're, they're rarer, Sorry, I guess. Got destroyed. Yeah. Ooh, there's also something down here. Fine, they Seven flying or fish. Or it's more flying fish, more I guess. more flying fish. Um, yeah, it's yeah there's like fish. stuff behind Armour Road, too. Ooh, and look at that. There's like a windmill a situation, windmill. and there's this, Whoa, this thing. Whoa, a single helmet on let's an island? That, let's go get that helmet. Let's go get that helmet ruined. Oh, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's here. You see a small group on an island near Armour Road fishing with a net. They claim to live on this island and fish whenever they feel a craving for seafood. The <laughs> islanders offer to let you try using the casting net since the sea nearby is thriving with fish. Your first duty is to draw your sea chart, but the net fishing does seem enjoyable. Yeah, we got, we got to agree to try it. it. Yeah. You decide to learn how to fish with a net. It isn't long before the Islanders are bowled over by your quick grasp oh, of wow. the technique. The Islanders praise your skill and give you a casting net to commemorate your meeting. Should you have ever a chance to fish in the future, this net will surely allow for a larger haul. You thank the Islanders and board your ship again. Let me draw this little map. Free net. Free net. Free net. We, it's one of these. It's this Tetris piece, a classic. Oh, classic a Tetris. Classic piece. Tetris piece with three palm oh, with the three palm trees. I thought it was a brush. It's not a brush with three palm trees, uh, and uh, a little oh, one of these. Boom! Look at that. A little building. A little building. And I'm gonna make a note on it that says. Uh, gave me. Gave us net. Yeah, so that's when when the time comes to write the Christmas cards and stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, we we know we know what to give them back, which is some sort of reciprocal net gift. Let's head back. We got look at that sixty three n. Oh, We're doing yeah. great. We're doing great. We're making money out here. I get why people just fish, you know. Yeah. We were specifically warned against it. Yeah, but then he was also like, and by the way, if you notice Didn't a you fish. You notice fish. <laughs> Ooh, the fishing flag oh. has taken effect. You notice a new school of fish. It's th that blue thing down down here, maybe? Down the this with this group, or is it this? Oh, sorry, the purple. Yeah. The purple. What What do you think that is? Uh, go Go visit it. I we suppose should, we, we're not going to make it that far, oh, Jack. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you're right. It's eight away. Or it's more than eight away. Probably a friend. Probably a friend. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see, Jack. Or I see, Sylvie. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to not go there. I'm going to with these other fish. And we're going to continue trying to find cedar. <laughs> Fuck, they moved. There's one flying fish. Oh, that's not great. What happened to this net? Did I not equip the net? I may maybe didn't equip the net. More flying right. fish. Yes, I wonder if the way the net works is it lets us cast into a nearby space. Oh, maybe. Is it? Well, we don't really have any, like... There's not much to no, this not like interface. No, it's not like a net option. No. Yeah. So we're going back. Is it a thing I didn't equip? That's my question. 
Uh-huh. Let's see. Set sail. Fishing flag. Yes, it's a yeah. different. Oh, it's expensive. Whew. 120 wow. N for this thing. Fishing up. Yeah, I bet that's well, you get more. Maybe we get more. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, hey, they look said around. That. Yeah, I right, but I guess I was not. Um, I was not thinking of it as a thing you'd buy, and then occasionally equip. You know what I mean? Or a, a thing that you buy per. Yeah. You know. It's uh, more of a like you unlock the new equipment exactly. as opposed to they actually Oops. give it to you. Exactly, exactly. A bit of a bu they gave you a timeshare on a <laughs> yes. net. They taught you how a net works. Yeah. Um, I, we gotta find this cedar wood, which maybe is just not happening. I'm not finding it. I don't know where else we can be going. That's to the west. You know, I guess we could just go straight west. Go straight west and see, what, see we, what we find. See what we see. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like getting as close as we're going to get to this island. Well, and this is okay. we're fine. And then this. Look at this. We don't. Not going to mess with that. No, you don't want to mess with that? You don't want to mess with the whirlpool? It'll just send us back behind the island, right? No, it looks like it's going to send us into that big whirlpool that's in the middle. I wish I could turn it a little bit. Do you see um, there, this over on the right? Oh, I'm going to do that it. That takes us to the undersea. Oh, that's well, you're right. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, well that was a waste of twenty n. So, what I bet we have to do is go to that mountain over there. The sure, mountain, Cedar Mountain. Cedar Mountain. Wait, which one? It's just mountain? like the only like land that is theoretically in that area. Well, I think I tried that mountain. You're talking about the mountain that's on the the starter island. Go to the yeah. Like to our over... south. I went there. We were here. We were Wait, just really? down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got fish down there. I'll double check. This one right here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, not a... Not, wow. Maybe on this side? Nope. There, oh, there we go. With your ocean sin... Ah, oh, you got it! With the ocean wind in your sails, you discover a coniferous tree growing alongside the southern coast. Looking closely, you see they are Armor Road Cedars. Amazing. Yeah. Well known to yield good quality lumber. It looks like you made I was sweating like down. crazy because I Googled that. <laughs> <laughs> Each of you takes a saw in your hand and sets to work felling a tree. After it comes down with a crash, uh, you load it onto your ships and return to your voyage. Love it. And importantly, um, got cedar. Uh, Importantly, we've also learned an important lesson here, which is uh, sometimes you'll see a big landmass, and even though it looks like you've explored it, you have not explored it, in fact. Yeah, you have just you, you need to go to a specific spot on it. Now, wait yeah. a second. I don't want to return that cedar. I need that cedar. Maybe he was just saying that you got the cedar? Hmm. Maybe. If it's, a, I think it's, try setting sail. Yeah. Is it in, like, do you have to equip it? No, okay, I don't know. No. It, might yeah. as well just head there and see. Yeah, let's see if we can be like, hey, we know where it is. Maybe that's what it is, more than a... Oh, yeah. You know, we found the location for well, it. I said it was a trade item. Was that the same as the fish? I don't know. Where's the hmm. cedar needer? The cedar just... needer is up here. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. Yeah, he's on the, the little this island, island with here. the tree. Which, you know... Yes, okay, yeah, there you go. cool, awesome. The armor road cedar loaded onto your ship. You return to the small island inhabited by sheep. On delivering the wood to the old shepherd, he thanks you and gives you a small bag as a reward. Inside is a hunk of sheep cheese, a delicacy beloved Let's of sailors go. on long voyages. You thank the old man and leave the island in search of more unmapped regions to ex explore. I almost said explode. I mean, listen, Fulmar gets powerful enough. That's true, that's true. I'm gonna fill in this little C. Boop, oh, that's wrong. Bop. There we go. Yes. Let's see how long and how expensive this thing is. I bet it's a fortune. Yeah, 70. But 16. Yeah, that's we pretty can good. We go wherever the fuck we want. I'm going to save. Yeah, we should save. Because it's been a minute. I'm worried about that big bird. Me too. I'm worried about that big bird. Uh, all right. Pace and Circle says the Cedar Needer's cheater. <laughs> that's right. There's no new missions here, right? And we no. still only have that first set of missions or, or Missions quests. tend to come as you get yeah, deeper okay. in, yeah, if totally. I'm remembering right. Just making sure. Yeah. Um, let's let's go check out those northern places. 
Yeah, I'm down. How are y'all feeling on time? You, you want to set like a a thing to, to try to wrap up around? Uh, maybe around the top of the hour? That sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds perfect. All right, All right let's go see these northern islands. I should fill in this little island too, really quick, because we know it's here. Pop. Okay. Which of these do we want to go to? Um. We still have 10 turns. It's not like we're like low on yeah. time, but. Let's go. Uh... That's going to push let's... us oh, that way, right? Yeah. I mean, do we want to just see how that works? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's learn. Ready? It'd be useful to know how many turns it costs us. See, no. that, that, like, that extra move doesn't cost us a yeah, turn, that's, which yeah, is yeah. useful. Yeah. A plain looking island. It's likely unnamed. <laughs> oh. You're about to <laughs> pass by a, a second glance when Albatross lets out a shout. Albatross Albatro excitedly <laughs> says there's a barrel wedged in a crevice in the cliffs. She found treasure. She found treasure. Oh. If you're interested in the barrel, you're free to recover it. Yes, we're going to recover the barrel. Head towards the crevice. You reach the cliff and find more barrels stacked together behind the first. You open one and discover a crystalline stone known as Niter. Oh my god. used for gunpowder. Another ship must have stowed the shipment here, fearing being, being wrecked by violent currents. You decide to load this onto your ship. Yes. New trade item discovered. Oh no! Oh no! It's fine. It's fine. What's wrong? That must be uh, the other ship. Okay, but we could dip in real quick. We could dip in real quick and see. You want to dip in, jump out? You want to do one in, of those? Yeah, we'll do a little dip and jump out because it's gonna turn around this yeah. turn. And okay, there's nothing to interact with here, so out. let's get out. Boom! Easy, easy. Nothing to worry about. Now we can do this. Now we can, let's go. Let's do this. Fuck it. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah, then we got one move. Okay, but look, that's fine, because look, we'll go... Oh, we're one short. Fuck you. Okay, we have to come back Waving and go Waving at there. them. We have to come back and go... Ooh, and look, there's fish out here, too. <laughs> Ooh, 220 go. in. Let's go. Profitable trip. Making money. I've read reviews of this game from people who are like, I never really engaged with the boat stuff. What that's you, wild. What are you Whole doing? Game in here. What are you, why? This seems so much fun. This seems so fun. I'll admit that that is kind of how I played this game, is I barely engaged with this because I like yeah. the dungeon crawling. Sure, but... sure. The night oh, wind blows in your hair when you notice a bluish white light at the mast tip. Oh, nautical folklore refers to this as the fire of Helena and fear it as an omen of storms. Let's put you as a gloomy Whoa. mood as you continue your voyage. Are we going to lose? Fuck oh. off. Are we going to be one yeah. off again? Like oh, that's going to be... Strikes to incinerate. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think we're fine. Oh I think God, we're going to be... Really? I think we're going to be... No, we're going to be exactly one off again, aren't we? Yeah. No, 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 no. We got it this time. Oh, we'll be oh. fine. Whew. Close one. Oh, as you set, as you sail, listening to the golds overhead, you eventually encounter an unknown island. On it, you can see several well-populated villages. <laughs> Apparently, the islands have been colonized. When, when you disembark, a tall old man who claims to be a weaver by trade greets you. He tells you that he made too many fishing flags to ship to Armor Road and offers you one. You try to compensate him, but he stubbornly refuses. When you ask why, he replies that he is happy to see it used by youth unfamiliar with his culture. <laughs> Gen C. <laughs> Gen C. You promise him that you will treasure the gift and take it back to your ship to hoist it. Large flag. All wow. right. Love to get a large flag. Let's see what Let's the see fuck what it does. does now. Yeah. yeah. Only 30 and it's fishing schools plus it's plus plus. That's just better. Yeah. It's just better. Yeah. There's not a lot of fish around exactly where we've been going lately, so I'm a little cautious about going to casting that, but maybe we well, go to Fishing Schools Plus Plus. Well, yeah, because that'll just add more yeah. In, yeah. on the map, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, feel like we're uh, just doing this for the rest of the stream, aren't we? I, it's, maybe. Uh, it, it's, it's really fun. scratching an itch. It's, it's scr really it's scratching really an itch. Scratching the thing that makes itch. me want to play is um, the like B tier. Zelda games that they made for the DS. Like yeah. Oh, you mean the best? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I am, here's the thing. I, I love I those remember, games. I remember not caring for them too much as a kid, but uh, I have varying opinions of my taste as a kid. Yeah. Whoa. 
We're not going to get there. Oh, there's like a manor over there. We can't there. get there because of this fucking current. That's ghost we manor. Could go around the other side on a different voyage. Yeah, though. that's what we should do. Oh, we probably go to that one. Let's go to this one for now. Phantom Hourglass ruled. I think the DS is maybe the best video game console ever made. Um, I should dig out Kat's DS. My DS is in the UK, but Kat's got one in their office that they don't yeah. use. Which is the one that had you close the screen to like print something onto the lower screen? Oh, that's Hotel Dusk, one of the greatest that games ever Hotel made. Dusk. That's a banger. So good. All they, timer. All time. Them remaking, um, oh, what's the other? Trace Memory? Which I think is also a, a oh, is the same, same crew studio. I, I'm pretty. I'm like, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry that I'm wrong. But it's making me want them to re-release Hotel oh, I Dust would somehow. To re -re I would that. That would be great. And like with them, because there was one that only came out in Europe and Japan. The sequel huh. to it was called like The Last Window or something. I think that's right. Um, one of those things that I've I have a ROM of, but I've never played. Yeah. Yeah, I should I should play Hotel Dusk. I've never played it. It's great. I think you dig it a lot. A big fan. There's a lot of stuff like a lot of the DS adventure game stuff. I think you'd enjoy. I think Phoenix Wright also would like hit for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I played like the first maybe just the first two cases of the original Phoenix Wright, and it was yeah. one of those things where I was like, I had a great time, and then I just I just never picked it back up again, not for any lack of interest. Yeah. But, yeah. The, what I like about those games is that they are very amenable to that sort of like put down, pick back up later thing. I've been playing Great Ace Attorney like slowly over months. Um, yeah, yeah. That's I hadn't really thought of how well they would be. You know, you wake up in the morning, you do the crossword, yeah. and then you play, yeah. you know, a chapter of Phoenix Wright or something. It's it is very much like ah, oh, time for bed. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get in and cross exam get into bed and cross examine some people <laughs> on my Switch before I fall asleep. Oh, I think we're not gonna be able to because the seaweed is gonna make us. Yeah, we can't oh, get across yeah. the seaweed. Fuck. You just actually can't get across it? Yeah, yeah we, I it's imagine like there's a, some oh, sort of upgrade. Yeah, that's going to be yeah. an upgrade. All right, well, that was 70 N. Lost. It's hey, we, we learned. You're right. Spirit of Discovery. You're right, Spirit of Discovery. Forgot about the Spirit of Discovery. I always forget about that. Excuses so <laughs> many things. <laughs> that's what Magellan said. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, Spirit, Spirit of Discovery, guys. That's guys, just the Spirit of Discovery. Come on. All right, well, fuck. Uh, can we get any fish? No, they're really far away. I guess that one could theoretically turn towards us, so I'm gonna... No, it's turning away from us, in fact. Let's just check oh, in... Oh, the uh, Cedar Nita doesn't have shit to say to us. All right, there goes uh, 70 yen out the window. We learned, we learned, we learned. <laughs> All right, we're running low on money here, but... Uh... Yeah, why for wife we... in the chat says 70 yen for valuable map information. All right, how about this? Casting net... And we go cash and in on these go. fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is going to fix us. <laughs> I think I say to myself all the time. Yep, every time I boot up uh, a JRPG. Uh-huh. This is the time. This is the one. They need those fish to not get too far away from us. Mm, they're really far. Okay, here we go. It oh, moved. come on, it fish. Moved. Okay, it's fine. Fish, sea iris too, new fish type. Yes! Oh, an additional... Yes, an additional three! Ah, uh, there Love you go. That. Oh, this is... We're in the money. We are in the money. An additional one st sardine, flying fish one, yes. I love that, because it's oh, like, fuck. we're getting an additional five bucks, an additional seven bucks. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I want to know what's on that island, but we're not going to be able to make it, so let's go to that one. I think we'll be all right. Let's see if so there this is, is something here. I only yes. saw in chat, so like they can correct me on it sure. uh, if I'm wrong about this. Apparently, you can co-op these like other ships with people what? like on your Steam friends oh, list. Oh, that's really cool. I think that's how the multiplayer worked in the DS, but I that's didn't have really any friends cool. who liked these games, oh. so. Oh. That's pretty yeah, you know. neat sending in like a uh, like a little fleet of ships. Yeah. To... Yeah. I also love that this is a different. It has like different livery than the. Other one we yeah, saw? Yeah, the other one. Yeah. Is that a little smaller too, or maybe it's just further away? <laughs> you listen to the waves as you approach Tortuga Island, also known as Skull Island. Oh. There are holes dug under the rock, obviously created by the hand of man. There may be some kind of ore left for you to mine, but it's possible nothing remains. You're free to attempt to mine the cliff before if you wish. Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? After several hours of labor, you stop as your pickaxe strikes something in the rock. You inspect the area you were digging at and see a spot with a metallic glint. You chip away at the stone and find a layer of iron ore. You Ooh, store nice. the ore you mined into the ship and set sail from this area. 
I yes. do love it's like you came across a place called Turtle Island, also known as Skull Island. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the text was saying. Yes. Is that uh that's here, is that right? With whatever these bushes are? Yellow yeah, bushes, so. yeah, okay. Well, we're done with this one. Let's see what we made back. We spent 170 on this. What did we get? Oh, okay. 108, 108 immediately. Plus 20. Plus 180. We, yeah, we plus made 210. it. Plus 210. Yeah. You're there in you the go. fucking money. This is this what we're is talking why you about. Go to see. This is why you That's go to <laughs> This is those are the two reasons. Let's go see what those uh what those, what those yellow flowers are about. <laughs> uh <laughs> Me when I discover narcotic flowers yeah, as, a, uh -huh. <laughs> as a world explorer. <laughs> Let's go see what those spirit are about. Spirit of exploration, bro. Yeah, spirit of exploration. It's gonna help with strike seasickness. <laughs> That's right. He's gonna be able to. He's really gonna be Mr. Kong. <laughs> Your ship nears one of the many islands that surround Arbor Road. It's a featureless island, but on close uh, inspection, you see that something has washed ashore. It looks like one of the dolphin statues that were once attached to fishing Whoa. vessels for luck. Not what I expected. Thinking oh that God, it may prove useful. A masthead? Yeah. You decide to salvage it and return to Arbor Road. Dolphin statue. Let's go get these fish. Let's go get these fish. I'm not that gonna... a dolphin statue might be worth money, too. <sighs> Bluish white uh, light. Bob's eerily. It doesn't appear to be alive, but if it is, its size could make it a threat. Uh, we should investigate the, the glow. You saved, oh. right? Unquestionable. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, yeah. yeah. You lower I Blue's foot on a rope into the sea. Blue foot closes in on the glow and sees that uh, it's genuinely something is something going under the sea. But as Blue foot attempts to investigate further, the glowing object sinks into the ocean. She says as much after climbing back on board, making this affair all the stranger. Okay, interesting. Should I mark that spot? Or do you think that was just a that random might be a ran an RNG thing. Yeah. I don't know, Blue but like light. it could be. Light it could be worth it in case we get like a um, like a trawling. Yeah, thing. sure, sure, sure. Um, actually, it looks like there isn't a. Oh no, that's a fish. That's uh, a fish. notification. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Dark moray and Dark file moray. fish. File Dark new moray. Fish. New fish just dropped. Oh, the marine goods acquired on this voyage are dark moray, file fish. All right, we, we made some of our money back there. We should also look at these uh, uh, reported dried <laughs> peas, reported cheese, reported dolphin statue, large flag casting that. Armor Road beans, dried while still green. A cheese of fermented wild sheep milk. A traditional flag flown over ships. A popular fishing tool made of hemp and cotton. Uh, a bow dolphin statue said to increase one's luck. It costs 70. Okay, and then uh, let's learn about these other new fish. Yeah. Sea irises are seaweed for both eating and fertilizer. File fish are diamond like fish. It's actually quite fierce. Dark moray is a fish that it attacks from cover. It's delicious. Unfortunately for it, it is delicious. Unfortunately Holy for shit, it. Holy shit, I just noticed how massive the cannon is on the front of our ship. Oh, we this... have like a, an yeah. anti aircraft gun. Yeah. You saw how big those pirate ships were? Yeah, that's true. We saw the bird. The yeah, big bird destroyed yeah. our ship. The big bird did destroy our ship. Um, and yeah, what, where were we supposed to land for that, by the way? That was the lighthouse. Right, I so are we, we still land? Not... Are we just not ready for it? I genuinely don't know. Mm. Uh, let's check the, still not ready, let's check the southeast, because that seems to, to be... Oh, we should talk to him about it. That's a great idea. Uh, oh, we've done this, no. right? No, we've done yeah, this, I, think I believe. We have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's head southeast again because we didn't we didn't go really past that one spot, or I guess east by southeast. There's a lot here we've not looked at, including wherever this takes us. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh. Free free movement, free movement. Yeah. Now could no, like this get us to? the end of how many one two three four five six seven eight nine that should do it we could make it let's do it let's see if this is true let's see oh, there's I, seaweed oh, here i fucked up my count i fucked up the seaweed placement is what i fucked up here oh uh, right and it's gonna blow us to the left i forgot mm -hmm. i think it is purposely designed that go. we can't get yeah. through without yeah. and also i just fucked up the map is what happened here Oh, Jenny Sai says you're supposed to find a route around without getting spotted by the bird. I see. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So this I think is maybe we need to come at it here. from a different side on the lighthouse island. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let me drop in some more seaweed here so I have a better 
understanding of where things mm -hmm. are. Love to do mapping. It, it is it's so satisfying. Okay. That looks more right. All right, well, uh, fuck. Nothing here, right? No, and nothing here. Oh, you reach a small island. Oh. The island is small enough for a child to walk across in a day. It'll be easy to invest. <laughs> Penguin. Penguin? <laughs> Penguin, get to it. If you like, you may land here and explore. I would like. Yeah. I would like. As you disembark, the vivid tropical flowers put you in mind of some island of paradise. Should have told the Bill about this, the lazy fisherman. Oh, you're right. You can investigate this area near the flowers and go further into the island. Let's start with the flowers. Having decided to investigate the area, you start strolling about. As you enjoy the sweet smell of the flowers, you can feel an itchy oh, no. sensation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The itch soon turns into an unbearable singing pain. You hastily remove all remove your boots. Poisonous no. ants known as bull ants are swarming all over the your feet. Oh, no. <laughs> the intense pain causes you to flee, but not before gathering some bull ants to take back. Quick, get some ants. <laughs> get the ants. Run cl oh, crazy okay. slots now. <laughs> <laughs> Media Club Plus. Media Club dot plus. Yeah. Coming on a Tuesday soon. I don't yeah. know which one, though. He rolls a one and crazy slots gives him, like, tiny small box for ants. <laughs> oh, that's a bad roll. And hey, with a huge red body it and a, a painful bite. All right, let's get back out there. We've got to believe in ourselves. Plus, music is so good. All right, yeah. so... I'm so glad they didn't like reorchestrate a ton. I like think I was, they, I think that they, they like definitely re-recorded it, but it's not like big like. Sure. It, it still sounds like synthy stuff that could have been on the DS as right. opposed to yes. like yes. they got an actual in-house band to play right. like new cuts entirely. Whatever this instrument is supposed to be, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good point, right? Because what is this instrument? Supposed to be? You know, you would be you would be making some sort of compromise as soon as you were like, well, I think this sounds like a. Oh, why didn't you move? I needed you to fucking move. You might just be chilling there. Oh, like, okay. That might be like the guard no. ship. Yeah, I think it goes every other move. Oh, fuck. Oh, me. shit. Well, we okay. just crashed into okay. it. Okay, that's not so bad. I thought that was going to be way worse. I thought that was going to yeah, be gonna so much worse. Then... Yes, same. All right, I'm going to roll large flag. We need some more fish out here, please. <laughs> It didn't trigger. It didn't. It didn't trigger. Not yet, anyway. Um, you saw what I was going wow. for, though, right? I wanted to double check this, yeah. but Yuzu Koshiro utilizes a PC ninety eight to make the music for that this. That is that is my understanding. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Here's some fish. Oh, and it's going. Okay, I see. So the path that that ship takes is it goes around. Oh, here we go. Get oh, this does sound squares. like trying to be a hurdy gurdy. Oh, it does. Oh, yes. it's like pirate I had to shit. Yeah. Dave's yeah. enough for that show. That was going to come this way good again. Call. God damn it. I'm not going to be able to sneak past. It's fine. Can I get the... Oh, fuck off. They moved where I was. <laughs> Ugh. It's fine. I really wanted to sneak in. We just don't have the movement for it. Can... You know? Yeah. So what use, were you going to suggest? Uh... I was going to say, can we attack the ship if we're not getting crushed by it? But I think it might just send us back. Oh, I think it'll just, I get, I, I think it'll just send us back. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. I love let's, the party synth so much. It's very good. Let's casting net and go after the ones north of the, the island, the, uh, north of the lighthouse island. The fish that are up there. Try to get some money back. Oh, is this going to be too close? I guess we'll find out. Flying fish. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Flying fish four. Uh, extra sardine. Okay. And flying fish three. All right. Now is this... No, it's not. So... Is it gonna be here? Fuck. Oh. The monster's bird swoops down. Oof. Yeah, I don't think we can do it now. At least we still got our stuff. We did get our stuff, but we didn't get, it was not really worth it. That was not a great. So what are we, 
Sorry, I thought I thought the thing that someone said in the chat was that we were looking for a they, place. Someone did say you they maybe speak, the, speak around it, but that could have just been a. Yeah. I think they said that, that was just based on how they read the dialogue. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. Um. Then yeah, I don't know that there is a way for us to engage with that quite yet. Yeah. Ooh, so I, wonder... Says, I wonder if there's a way to go through the whirlpool. We can give that a shot. Yeah, I don't we don't even... know what happens if we've if we, we don't have put a clue. The whirlpool yet. Yeah. I have some guesses. Spirit of discovery. <laughs> Spirit yep. discovery. discovery. Yep. It's all out. Quick travel back to town. <laughs> Spirit right. of discovery. Exactly. <laughs> all right, yeah. We get that right here. Right? Oh, you're right, yeah. Let's Do just it. go right into it. It'll be fine. The Adventure. The ship, severely damaging it. You return to town for repairs. Yep. Okay. All right, yep. well, lessons learned. Cool. Austin Spirit Austin. always right. Spirit of discovery. Which was... Uh, Spirit of 70N. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bad. Uh, and yeah, we've now lost drawing. all the money we made on that great fishing rod. We need oh, to fish. But that's, I mean, we do, but there's not, Jeff, there's not much out here fish wise. Yeah, we might need to, like, actually just wait. We might just need um, to go into the dungeon, is what we might need to do. And, yeah. Uh, return. Dungeon. I know, I know. It's I know. hard to imagine. Let's do one more travel directly south of yeah. Armor Road that's not all the way over to the east. Yeah. It's just straight this way. There's, there's a lot of stuff here we have not even... There's like an there's island down there that we haven't even seen yet. Now it's rolled over to a new day. The fish might repopulate. The fish could point. come back. I would love to have more fish. There's a few down here. Well, there are a few down <laughs> Robot Ghost says, I thought we were seabirds, not dungeon birds. Which That's is right. Point. That's right. Yeah, let's get these fish. Do you have good fish stuff equipped? I don't have good fish stuff, uh, stuff equipped. But we're not. We don't have enough money for it. Are you, where are you? We're gonna oh. lose our. Wait, what? As you despondently gaze upon the beautiful blue water, one word pops into your mind: swimming. <laughs> Luckily, the sea is calm, making this the perfect time for a dip. Any potential dangers lur lurking beneath the surface cannot hold back the temptation. You can choose to enjoy a swim. Yeah, we're gonna swim. Yeah, we're, we're gonna swimming. swim. Spurt of discovery. Yeah. You decide Everybody that everyone needs a break. Needs a break. A Take off all your armor. Jump in the water. Ah, oh, brightly colored fish cheer your spirits. For a brief moment, you're able to forget your troubles and duties and simply relax. <sighs> Fulmar. He got eaten. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. No. He did. He got <laughs> eaten. <laughs> Bluefoot performed CPR. He was foolish enough to, to jump in without warming up and got a cramp. That's so funny. That's so Fulmar. That's so Fulmar. Yeah. You returned to your voice. Nothing happened there. We didn't. Nothing no. like happened. Oh, we got a long octopus. Oh. Let's come in here and fish. More dark morays. Those are worth the, uh, like, decent... Yeah. Yeah. Bit. We'll make a little cash on this. 20 and the long octopus and 84. 84. Yeah. All right. 112 and? One yeah. more sea trip. Let's go back to that island where we got the bull ants. Uh, and this time we'll go deeper. Oh, explore the other stuff. Yeah, the other right. stuff. Exactly. Assuming that we're going to be allowed to. I know there was um, one of the eastern ones here, but I don't remember which one. Do you remember which one it was? I did not oh, mark no. it like a uh, fool. It was this one. The child, child could, child could walk here. I would play a Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou Shit, game. I didn't read. Based Is this on the this. same one. Fuck. I, I, I think it's the same one. Sorry, but what was the? Could someone check the the stream and see if it says? Um the flowers thing again vote no someone says vote no okay thank you so so much cool yeah okay shaking the temptation of the sweet smelling flowers thank you you push ahead to reach a forest i didn't know if it would automatically skip the flowers right. this time yeah the densely wooded veil is like a natural fortress that, uh, though it is nothing to one such as yourself as you move on spirits high you reach an open area where one tree stands taller Ooh. than the rest <laughs> oh my Drip god seal. yeah let's let's check this one as you search the area, the tall what trees seeping, oh, no. seeping with Sam constantly draws sap the smell uh, the draws syrup. your attention. You walk over to it and see the amber-colored ants gathering around the sap. You grab one and try eating it. A what? mellow, thick sweetness spreads over your tongue. You recall the sailors who talked about honey ants, oh. a delicacy of Armor Road. This may be that very species. You fill a bottle full of the ants and return to your ship. Honey ant. Okay, we gotta mark this. Is this, this is, is this island. is Ant Island? You're right. This is Ant. This island. is the NGL. <laughs> <laughs> it is Ant Island NGL. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. There's ants on that island. There's ants on that island. 
More than they were expecting. More than they were expecting. All right, do we want to go? Let's go to this little mountainy one. I would go that way, yeah. yeah. With your sails billowing in the wind, your ship arrives at a small island. A middle-aged woman ants. spots your ship and flags you down. The lady who comes from Armor Road asks you to try her new batch of raisins, which are freshly dried. You okay. pop one in your mouth and are met with a sublime mix of sweetness and, te and te uh, tanginess. You tell her the raisins are delicious. She seems pleased and gives you a large bag of them. The raisins would be perfect for maintaining your sugar intake on oh, long wow. voyages. I thank the woman profusely and take the raisins back to the ship. I bet this is another um, uh, food yeah, option uh, for us, huh? Absolutely. Provision. Has to be. Yeah. yeah. Anything on this side? Nope. All right, return. Honey ant. 110. 110's not bad. All right, so let's see what these new raisins give us. 60 oh, and double. It's oh, no, it's the same, but it's, it's half as much. But it's, it's 40. It's, it's cheaper. Oh, oh, we, oh we're, yeah. in the, we're in the now. fucking money. <laughs> uh, we need <laughs> to go. Do one more. Let's, one, more no. one more. One more. One yeah. more. Got to be one more. <laughs> let's go sailing. Let's go sailing. Let's go sailing. Nothing on Dang this it. one. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Because now uh, we got to go no. Oh, wait. Was that it? You Did can't. It oh, Ant Island empty. We've, we've gotten all we can out of Ant Island. You exhausted Island. it. You've exhausted all the ants. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, there's nothing here anymore. <laughs> well, hey, old lady. Thanks for the raisins. Uh, let's let's. Okay, one more. One more. That didn't count. Yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. One second. Let me, let me turn and oh make sure I get. God. My, I have to go this way and then this way and then do 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 do. Oh, that's, is that the edge of the map? Yeah, it's the edge of the map. Oh, the edge of the world. The edge of the world. Austin, you've talked about you know playing some of this off stream. We're gonna come back to this stream, but you'll you'll have explode. Or you're gonna be like, I, I will oceans. not. I think at this point we're too far in to. I think what will happen is like if we let's say we finished the first dungeon. Or the first right. strata, the first whole strata together, yeah. I would go in and be like, let me grind a little bit and get everybody up to level blank, you know? Yeah, Something I feel like, like that. I think that's within that's the spirit, solid. but... Um, all right, where are we going before we before we set out? Where are we going? Are we going to go south again, maybe? Yeah, I think south is good. We sort of have this this gap to the left of that central foe down there. Sorry, FOE. Yes, uh-huh. The, what are you talking about the gap? You're saying... Oh, uh, a gap of unexplored territory of, of I see. Black Can you give me land. the? Give me the. Oh, oh yes, I absolutely can. Yeah. Uh, around uh, sort of E three down. E three. So southwest is what you want to go. Yeah. E three. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I like this. I like this. Uh, we should bring. We should. <laughs> we should bring the casting net because we have all these fish right here. You know. Yeah. We're going that way. All right. It's like basically all the rest of our money. Get these fish. Yeah, but you know, this is this is where we get the money. This is where we get the money. I love that. I love it when a game um, opens up a whole new wing of mechanics to yeah, you. Yeah, me too. Great feeling. Uh, let's get these. Uh, let's get this seaweed. Back to the map. Yeah, that's very oh, irritating. Yeah. It's so irritating. I bet eventually we will get some sort of uh, anti-seaweed. on the front of our yeah, ship. Yeah, 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 exactly. I think that that's right. Uh, is there another one there to, like, the south of this one? It looks like there might be. Okay. Well, now we've kind of run into another dilemma oh, because... Yeah. Oh, wait. You see a large splash ahead. You quickly lower anchor. Looking closely, you can see a fish easily larger than your ship battling a what? crawfish like creature. The crawfish has the fish in one of its giant claws, but the fish is thrashing about wildly. However, lacking the means to escape the crawfish vice-like grip, the fish falls lifeless. The crawfish pulls its prey into the deep and disappears. Where it once was, you spot something. In the crimson-stained waters, you find a crawfish claw, likely knocked off during the struggle. If you wish, you can pull the crawfish claw aboard and take it with you. Hell yes! Got it! Damn right! Oh, that's right. gonna be worth a lot that's of money. That's gotta okay. be worth money. That's gotta be worth money. That's, kind of that's a bunch yeah. of those. Oh, oh this yeah, is brutal. No. This is brutal. It's at least three of those, and then another one there, maybe. All right, so we're kind of in nowhere, no one's land right here. But well, let's, I guess, head up. Oh, and then this there's area, a foe. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Don't love it. Don't love it. 
Not our best voyage. Not our, not our best oh, voyage. Oh, well, uh, 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 cr claw. Claw. Well, we'll see what that was worth, you know? It could be worth a lot. Better to do a little voyage, you know? Whoa, that foe is red. That foe is, that foe is red. You're not wrong. Let's get out of here. Flying Fish, 54. Seven Star Sardine, 40. Crawfish Claw, 120. Oh. All right. Nice. All right. That seems like a good place to stop us from just doing this all day, because otherwise we will do it literally <laughs> all day. I think that that's probably what we're going to get. Uh, any final uh, things we want to take care of before we... It didn't, it, it doesn't, we don't have anything to sell here, right? No, oh, I think we, we sell, sell everything. our old daggers is what we should sell. But yeah, yeah, there's no... She doesn't get any of this and turn it into gear is what I really right. meant, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been a joy. Thank you for hanging out with me, uh, Jack and Sylvie. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, it has My been pleasure. fantastic. I'm super excited to get back to this. Uh, let's switch over to our see you next time thing. Uh... Uh, as Library Cat says, a joy, a pleasure, a journey. I uh, love playing Etrian Odyssey. Excited to do more of this soon. What else do we have going on right now? As always, you can support everything we do by going to friendsofthetable.cash. That is the best place to support us. Uh, obviously, we would love to take uh, any of your Twitch Prime subscriptions, if you have those, to, to give us. But if you have $5 to give us, the best thing you can do is go give it to us via our Patreon at friendsofthetable.cash. Even if that means going from a $5 pledge to a $10 pledge for a month, that will count for more money to us than giving us $5 through Twitch. That said, if you're like burning money and you're like, fuck it, I want to subscribe or I want to give out subscriptions, this is also a place you can do that. We'd happily do that as, as folks can. Thank you to Sanskrit uh, Ganges, to, who has, or Ganges, who is subscribed with Prime. And oh no, it's Lubu who is subscribed with Prime. Oh no, it's Lubu. Oh no, it's Lubu. Uh, uh, I'm, if, if that's the person who I think it is, if that is professional chef Lubu, uh, that new Dynasty Warriors game looks sick. The new Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors, or I think it's Origins. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Uh, looks that's fantastic. That's so funny. It looks so good. Yeah, this one uh, starts about the uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion, so it's a little different. Um, oh, okay, so it is Origins. <laughs> I mean, it's the same, but it is Origins, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, we we uh, also obviously have a bunch, bunch of stuff over at friendsofthetable.shop. Uh, as I already said, Media Club Plus, starting the Chimera Ant arc of, uh, of Hunter x Hunter, starting very soon. Um, very fun to start that off. Palisade coming to a conclusion in the main feed. We'll have a new episode of that this the week. The longest finale in the world. Uh, yeah, I think I think the longest finale in the world is right, you know, uh, depending on how yeah. you count it, I guess. If you count what already came out as the finale, it's a really long That's line, a good point. You know? It really would, you know? It depends on like, where you draw the line. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I will say Spring and Hyron sort of also had a really long one. It's just That's fair. that was the finale for a whole three season, four, three and a half season you know, super show, so it's a little more, uh, it seemed a little more, you know, built in, I guess. A little more expected. Um, anything else? You can find all of the music that Jack makes for Friends at the Table at Not Quite Real. Oh, yeah, there's a new com. track out today. There's a new track out today. I mean, you have heard it if you've listened to the most recent Palisade, but I had a very busy weekend. Yes. So it's, yes. But it's available to for you to listen to now at notquiterealbandcamp.com. Wait, is there only one new track today? Or are there two? Uh, no, just one. Okay. There, the, there are the, two that tracks. Was the week. Was that the week before? That was the week before. That was the week before oh that we God. did two tracks. Yeah, really? I know. Okay. I know. Okay. Okay. It keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps. It keeps. It keeps going. You're right. Um. Any other things? I think that might be it. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. watch some softball. Enjoy. Oh, have fun. Have a good one, everybody. I hope the rest of your day is fantastic. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. bye.